Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Top 4. My name is Tita, I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm joined by Ernest, a Man United fan. Rude, 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 Rude. <laughs> I'm joined by Oscar, a Chelsea fan. Top of the league, top of the league. I'm joined by Robin, a Manchester United fan. I'm loving Angel in red. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Awful. And I'm joined hey. by David, an Arsenal fan. Brilliant assist from Welbeck, Kaz. Assisting business. Yes, <laughs> we want to talk about the two derbies that have happened um, over the weekend. We'll start off at Anfield. Um, it was a 12.45 kickoff. It ended 1-1. Liverpool won, Everton won. Who do you guys think uh, will be the happier of the teams leaving Anfield um, this weekend? Definitely Everton. Definitely Everton. Definitely, Definitely Everton. Everton. Why is that? Why would you say Everton? Everton are basically trying to fight for the Premier League, trying to get in the top four, probably go to Europe. Liverpool, they've got Champions League, got Premier League, trying to stay in, trying to not go back into the wilderness. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> what's so, happened to Liverpool? Yeah. What 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 has happened this season that's just not quite worked for them last year? I mean, if you watch the the, act, the game, uh-huh. Liverpool were, were like so much more dangerous than Everton. They were creating so many more chances. You had you had like players like Sterling, Lallana. They were always a, around the um, Everton penalty area. In the second half, Everton had never had any chances, literally nothing, until Liverpool had scored. Mm. And then it was like the last five minutes, and Everton tried to get back into the game. But you just feel like Everton never tried to win it. They never, they, they were comfortable to get a point, it, right, it yeah. seems. And what? when they conceded, they thought, oh, no, we have to do something now. Have you noticed in the big games, Lukaku's always on the right? And I, I've never understood why that is. Why do they put him on the right-hand side in the big games? He didn't, he didn't play on the right. He didn't yeah. play up top, did he? Yeah, he did. No, he was up top. Actually, no, he didn't. He, he was up top, top, but he was up top in front of Naismith. I thought, I thought he drifts he to the right. No, no, yeah, Lukaku drifts. Because I know that, for example, yeah. against Arsenal, two years in a row, he started on the right. And I was like, why are they starting on the right? I never understand that. Is it to beat the guy at left back on, on, the, other, on the opposite side? Because did you see what Lukaku did to Gerrard? Yeah. That was, that was wrestling. <laughs> Gerrard, really? Gerrard. Gerrard, Gerrard and him were chasing the ball on, his, on, his, on the sideline. Mm. And Lukaku sees him, and Gerrard tries to go in for, for the tackle, and he just lifts that moves ball. to him. <laughs> it was it was incredible. Um, so, was it a bit of an anticlimactic derby? Was it? I I expected that. Was it was it expected? I expected that. I think Liverpool have done poor business in the transfer. Trust. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I think I they've done, that. and and that's why I'm not shocked that they that that their their performance is like that because, you know, you I was at work and as usual I always say well, I, I was at work <laughs> and then we were discussing Balotelli and I said no guys let's be honest though. When has Balotelli really banged? Sixty-three in shots. Season? One of them being a goal in the, in the last in his last sixty-three shots in the Premier League. So, in his last sixty-three shots in the Premier League, he scored one goal. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> when has Balotelli? Re- it was the one season where they Man City banged us six-one. Mm. That was the year Balotelli was hot for me. Went back to AC Milan, thirty um, appearances, fourteen goals. I, I don't. I don't really think Bal. Because we made noise about Balotelli. I made noise about Balotelli, but I don't think he's that great. I don't think he's what Liverpool needed. I don't think they needed Ricky Lambert. They've signed, <laughs> they've signed players that they already have, meaning you've already got Suso, you've already got Coutinho and Sterling. You mm. signed Markovic and Alana. Why? Sure. You need a midfield general. You need a solid centre-back, at least one. If you've got Skirtle and someone else, not really a fan of Skirtle, but it's better than having Sarko. You see what I'm saying? So mm. I, when it comes to, to Brendan Rodgers, that's why I've always been slow at giving him, giving him ratings because he's a good attacking manager, but he never seems to know wh- what to sign. Mm. That's the thing. He's mm. not got it yet. And I expect, I expect things like this from Liverpool. It's a shame. I mean, it shows you last year how big it is not to have other competitions surrounding you. And it's a big difference. I mean, although we've only just played one Champions League game in terms of in, um, talk speaking in Liverpool, it's still, you know, the injuries are there as well. It's a knock-on effect. Obviously, Suarez was clearly more than one player for that team. So, it, it, it's very hard to come back. And I don't know whether Rodgers will have enough time. But Sturridge is also a big loss. To real, yeah, he Sturridge is, a is also loss. a big yeah. loss. Sturridge yeah. is a big, he loss. Is a big loss. But you've you got to remember, before, do you remember at the start of the season last year, Suarez was out for like eight games, was it? Yeah. And Liverpool were like in the top top three at that point. They'd won majority of those eight games without stop Suarez. I didn't, they had, they had I didn't first know they started games. well. I didn't know they started well last year. They, 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 they were did. scoring 1-0, 1-0 for the they first were winning, four games. They, 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 Drummond Sturridge had back. scored like 15 goals in like, not even, I don't know how many games. Yeah, he had, 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 had scored a lot score. of goals in the past 10 games. 
And it was like, okay, yeah. when Suarez comes back, and when he did came back, come back, they did very well. So. 31, bro. Yeah. Was it 30? 31. 31, 31 yeah. Who scored 31? Yeah. Suarez. 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 How many, how many did Suarez get last season? Suarez. He missed eight, in it. So, 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 30. So, so, so minus, six. minus four from 38. 34. Oh, damn. Yeah. 34 games, 31 goals. That's serious. That's crazy. a golden game. Damn. That's serious. That is crazy. And that's what you have to replace. Yeah, and that's what you have to replace. And it wasn't easy. I mean, do you, so we're saying that they didn't really spend the money wisely. It, cause, that, it, that because if you're, if, you're, if you're adding attack and your logic is, because we repla- we're we trying to replace 31 goals, let's buy all attackers, that still doesn't make sense because yeah. you have to buy the right attackers. Yeah. You've got Lalana. For me, I'm not even, I have no issue with Lalana. I just think that if you go for someone like Kadira and then get um, someone who actually plays on, because Sterling plays on the left or, or right, right? So you get another winger who's actually on point as well. Lallana is a, mm. he's a free roaming midfielder. He yeah. goes everywhere. Go anywhere, yeah. I mean, I'm sure everyone's got gassed on Sterling, but I don't know how he's now becoming the main man. Real. Coutinho was, was, Coutinho, Coutinho is, is very good. underrated. Was sick he last season. So Why underrated. he's not in the starting 11, I don't know. I don't think Rogers rates him as much as everybody else does. Maybe there's Same something about the game. Maybe there's something about the game that he doesn't, Provide. I think I think really I would like stuff. to see Coutinho and Sterling both playing because when when Coutinho came on against Everton, okay. he looked he looked lively and Sterling was lively throughout the whole game. Yeah. So I don't know. For me, in that Liverpool team, I just feel like Lallana is the one that doesn't fit. In. Do you think it's too early no, to talk about them not being in the top four, or is it's, it? It's do, still they, early. do they need to just get a bit of form back? Do they? No, they. I don't think they'll be in the top four. You don't think they will be? I don't. Yeah, you, yeah, you can always give opinion, but I think yeah. it's still early. But. Yeah. I think that what's going to affect them is the December period mm. and um, Champions, League. Champions League. Well, they've got Basel tonight um, away from home. What are the chances of that happening? Any any predictions on that? Oh, that's a what? tough game. Basel yeah. away is not easy. Basel Liverpool could win the game. I just don't think that they will. I don't <laughs> think, think Balotelli was the right striker to say. You might for for that <laughs> team in yeah. a system where you're meant to press and it's not bad to tell you. I don't think it's him. I feel like it's the, the style of football has changed at Liverpool though compared to last year because last year it was fast, it was rapid. That was what was good about yeah. Liverpool last season. They were very rapid. But you see, the thing is, the strikers the strikers helped as much year. as the midfielders. That's what David saying. If you signed by the telly, you slow down the game. It's very true. Very because true. now you have to feed him. And he doesn't move. And plus, yeah, Suarez <laughs> was one of them ones where you don't know what he's going to do. Yeah. So you may think, oh, let me get tight, and then he's gone. Oh, he's he was gone. nifty. Nifty. He was gone. By the time you know, he's going to try to hold it up, so yeah. the defender's he's, coming with confidence. Yeah, he's easier to play against for a defender. Yeah. So, David, top four Liverpool, will they be in it? So far, in the, at the moment? First of October? Getting in that early prediction. <laughs> prediction. I'd have to wait till January, man. It's too early. Too early, it's Robin? Too early I'm gonna say no. Gonna go with no, Oscar. I don't think so. Oscar saying um, no. I'm gonna say no, but not because I think Liverpool will be poor. That's not what I think. You just I just think, think the, the the top teams, Chelsea, Arsenal, City, and Manchester United, will perform better than Liverpool. And they'll they've got a better quality of squad. Simple as that. Ernest, um, statistically, you to win the league, you have to lose at most, five. let's say four or five games. Four, five, yeah. They've lost yeah. three games. Yeah. <laughs> Liverpool will lose more games yeah. because of that back four. Wait, Liverpool have lost three league games? Three games. Who are the three? Aston Villa, Aston Villa Man, City, Man City and West Ham. West Ham. Oh, that was a bad start to the season. You can't start the, the season. <laughs> right. Do you know what? I, 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 think they, I think they will squeeze the top four, you know. I think they'll just about make it. I, I don't think they will. Only because... <laughs> listen, listen it's, like, it's, it's like I said to you last season. If Liverpool win the league, with conceding that amount of goals, it's a disrespect to the Premier League. <laughs> you cannot concede fifty-one goals and win the league. Tight. The only reason why I say uh, the only reason why I'm saying that they, they they will squeeze that top four is because I think the battle for fourth is between United and Liverpool, and um, you could throw Everton and Tottenham if you if you if you'd like. But um, when I look at the defenses of United and the defense of Liverpool's this season, I feel like United will concede more goals than Liverpool. Do you know what it is? This is what I'll say. If, if you if you if you minus if you minus the, the Leicester game, yeah. our defense is not bad. But you can't minus the Leicester game. No, you can't. I'm just saying that because the, the, for me the, the Leicester game was a unique game in in the sense that the Leicester game was a freak of nature. Mm. That that should not happen in terms yeah. of. I don't even want to give the centre backs have been being 
because it's for me it's a big part the 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 injuries that we have yeah. it's a big part to our season this year yeah but i don't even want to use that as, as an excuse uh-huh. the leadership at the back is what killed our game that day and yeah. and the referee gave them impetus to win when he gave that penalty that's why for me it's it's it, as much as we got banged it's a it's a very unique game it's not as easy as we were poor they were good no, it it's not it's not it's not as black and white as that Fair that enough. that's that's the thing. So for me, I I think definitely United will concede goals. Yeah. That's that's a definite. Yeah. But Liverpool with that back four, I think we should just look Bro. at the analysis of the West Ham game. Sarko, S- S- Sarko and Lovren do not communicate with each other. Mm. I hope it improves for the sake of Brendan Rodgers. I'm oh, a fan. Sarko's not good but at all. He's I don't think he's good. <laughs> <man. laughs> oh, oh, Defense defenders take the longest time to adapt. Sarko's been here for a season. I know, but it, it's not that easy. That's what I'm trying to say. Def- and the fact that he's got a new partner again this year, it's not... It, defending... When you have a defensive partnership, it works because it's been there for a while. For a while. It's, not, it's never been because... Because they're, they're could be quality... I mean, Hummels can come into any team this year and it might not work for the first couple of, uh, first couple of games, a couple of months even, because it's adapting to a new system, a new 100%. way. You've got a new goalie behind you and all that jazz kind of thing. Unique, so it'll, it'll take some time. But um, what about Everton? I feel like Everton have also had a bit of a slow start, which is a bit weird, because I thought they would have picked up momentum from what they did last year, because they had a very good season last year under Martinez, and um, people thought, well, you know, what's going to happen to Everton now that Moyes is gone? But Martinez held his ground very well. Um, but this year, I don't know what you guys are thinking, maybe. Um, I, I don't know. Personally, I think they're conceding quite too many goals, and it's been a slow start for this them. This time is 37. But yeah. you got best, bro. <laughs> They ain't bought nobody at the back, did they? They signed. They signed. Um, oh, they did. They signed this this young American. Was he American or something? Mm. Yeah, they, they signed a defender. They they've got Oviedo back. Yeah. Um, yeah. He had that massive injury, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was out for a long time. He was out for a minute. Um, Jagiel, I've never thought Jagielka was a bad defender. I just think that if you're playing you Europa League, age as well. what do you think age as well? Is How old is Jagielka? He's, he's over thirty. So. Is he? Is he thirty two? He's thirty. He's over thirty. Yeah. 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 So that's why I was, I was a bit like, yeah. So that's why I thought like, you know, you, you, when you got two defenders over thirty, you have got to buy some defenders, you know, at least for the future ahead. Like. I like I like Stones. I do Stones, like Stones are very good. Yeah, I like Stones. Stones Coleman, He's so comfortable on the ball. Stones, Coleman. Yeah, they were showing some good analysis on Stones. Yeah, no, I, I do like Stones and Coleman, and I think United <coughs> United should 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 look at people like Stones in terms of for the future. But that's just another another debate. Um, but Everton, um. How well do we think they'll do? Europa League will kill them. Yeah, yeah a very good start and, in Europa and, League. And, and that's why, yeah, yeah but do you, do you see, see them in the league? That's the thing, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, play last they, week? they beat Wolfsburg, I think, 3 or 4? 4-0. 4-0. 4-1? 4-1. Oh, 4-1. 4-1, yeah. Game. And then lost 3-2 to, to Palace. Ah, uh, was it Palace? Uh, it was Palace. Okay, and, and that was at Goodison. And then um, they, they or was it at Selhurst Park? It was at Goodison. It was Goodison, yeah. And then came to An- Anfield and and and, and drew. Oh, I've got a point. Which now they'll be happy with. Now they've got a game today. Yeah. No, sorry, tomorrow. Thursday. And then they've got United on Sunday. Now yeah. they could win that game depending on how our defense turns up. Yeah, <laughs> but they could also lose that game depending on how they can handle the attack. Do they so don't have the squad game. in depth, do they? They don't really have the depth. Morales is out. Yeah, I mean, for is it eight well, weeks? Yeah, he's hamstring. Because you know what's interesting? How many points does anybody remember? How many points Everton lost out on the top four? Because I know it wasn't far. I remember them and Arsenal had a little clash towards the end. Yeah. And you know what's mad is that Everton, Everton not making the top four was to the amount of draws they had at the beginning of last season. Yeah, it was five, a lot of draws, yeah? five, six. You know, and so if you could imagine what that could have been for them last year, how actually well they could have done this year. I mean, they spent a lot of money this season um, for a club like Everton who don't. You know, fork out a hundred million every year and whatnot, but um, it, there, there's got to be a, I don't know from from if I was an Everton fan, there's got to be improvement from what happened last year because you just want your team to evolve, you want it to get better and better. Um, but is top four realistic for Everton this season? No, no, oh, no. Unfo- not. It's it's no. unfortunate, but it's not. Yeah. It, it, it seems like, gla- like a glass. <laughs> it is quite unfortunate because <laughs> you see that they're trying. They actually. The thing trying. is, I thought financially was the reason why they could never make the top four. But when you spent 27 on Lukaku... Which was, for, and I will forever say that know, was too much money. It, Boy, it's yeah, it's a lot of money. Too much money. And the thing is, you, you, you could think, well, they could have surely distributed that money elsewhere in places that they, you know, they needed to cover. I, I guess getting Lukaku was, was yeah, a massive I mean, transfer. They would have had to replace Lukaku if they didn't. Which was hard, that, yeah. Which would have been hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so you, yeah. asked about, you asked about points, yeah? Yeah. Um, 
Arsenal finished fourth with 79 points. Everton finished fifth with 72 points. Oh, so they were, they were so what, seven six, points? Seven. They weren't that far off. You know, they weren't that far off. You know, you convert some of those draws into wins. They could have been in that Champions League. We could, they, we could be watching them against Roma, you know? So you never know. You, you, you know, you never, you never know. That's the, that's the problem with the Premier League. That's the, with football in general. Some fortunes go against you. But Everton, I mean, what, what about a fantastic goal from Phil Jackielka? Round of applause for Phil for, hey, for a top range. Hey, 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 hey. You know? Probably one of the best uh, best goals you'll see for a long time. Um, some of the best goals, anyway. Um, he was inducted as Sheffield United's second best time player of all, of all time, if that makes sense. So they had a player who was in the 70s who was the best of all time, and then he came second and he got an award for it last week, which was quite interesting. Everyone forget he played for Sheffield United. Well done to him, isn't it? He's still a massive Sheffield United <laughs> fan. We'll go over to the other derby real quickly. Um, Arsenal at home to Tottenham. Hey. Um, also, again, another 1-1 one, one draw. Hey. Um, Again, would you say the home side will feel more disappointed leaving the stadium with a draw? Of course, bro. Yeah? Um, what, was, what happened, David? I was depressed, What, what happened with, with the performance? Why did he go back to 4-1-4, four, four, whatever, 4-1-4, four, four, whatever? 4-1-4-1. Four, four, one. Did he, did <laughs> he do that at the start of the game? Was that the start of the yes, game? Yes, bro. Why is Urs on the left, bro? Yeah. Yeah, Why is he there? I just don't get what it. What was bro. Sanchez doing on the bench as well? I, that's I thought he was saving him for today's game. That's yeah. what I mean. Bro, we play on Tuesday, bro. Playing Spurs at home is the biggest game for a for, for a club like Arsenal. Sometimes that's, that's one of the biggest no, games. When, when, yeah, that, when did that game t- taught me stubborn? Hold bro. on, let me ask a question. When when I've, stubborn, asked, I've asked a lot of Arsenal fans this year. Yeah. Why do you guys focus on the North London derby so much? It's a derby. Everyone it's, focuses, it's game, everyone focuses yeah. on the derby. Uh, do you know what it is? Because, because, do you know what it is? It's, it's because Chelsea don't focus on Fulham. No, because yeah, because their rivalry is not as intense. It's, no, no, yeah. no, 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 but that's my question. It's, it's like it's that Arsenal are light years ahead of Tottenham, but every they're light years ahead. They're not light years ahead. The Tottenham. When was the last time they made top they're four? Not they're not. Yeah, but they're always within two places of Arsenal. Why? Arsenal are better. I'm not denying no, no, that. No, no, but they're no, not no, light no, years no, ahead. No, 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 listen, Arsenal. Every year since I've been a, since I've I've watched football, I've yeah. consistently made Champions League before yeah. Tottenham. And have banged them. Yeah. Top, but, bear in mind, Tottenham finished in the top four You have to twice. remember this, though, yeah, is that even when, for example, City, when they weren't really a club at the top level of football, playing United, that was a massive was derby. A big deal. Everyone knows no, about no, it. When, when City first derby. got promoted, no, no, I remember they beat Man United. When they beat Man United, with Sean Wright Phillips, yeah. No, no, no it's, a, it's, 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 it's a derby, yes. Yeah. But I, I, this, this, is, this is from my experience. Arsenal fans make a lot of noise about beating Tottenham. Do you know what, though? We hate Tottenham. But it's the same. You, could you have to understand thing about it like that. And yeah, because no, 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 no. listen to what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. When I look at Arsenal, I look yeah. at a team that should be looking at the Prem and the Prem only. Yeah. The Premiership True. Trophy only. True. But I feel like they make a lot more noise about qualifying for the Champions League and beating Tottenham every year. The circumstance is because in the last couple of years, it's, we've not been able to fight for the top because we've, we've not had the resources to compete with the top. And so the, the, the second best thing is to make sure you're in the top four. You stay around the top. Yeah that, yeah, that that I understand. You stay around the top. And then Tottenham, remember, because Tottenham all of a sudden had become this team that were now fighting for Arsenal's place. Mm. And so it became... Arsenal versus Tottenham. Yeah, right? every year. There's a lot of beef. It's Arsenal versus Tottenham. Do you get what I mean? So that's what. That's why um, I get what you're saying. I just think nobody has like maybe the beef for everybody else in other derbies is not as severe as it is with Arsenal. Tottenham. I think it is. Arsenal Tottenham hate each other. Like, I think Liverpool hate to- each Liverpool other. Everton is the same. I think United City is the same. Newcastle Sunderland is the same. Yeah, they've all got they're their just, got, they they got hate their each other just as much. Not, I'm not even talking about the hate. I'm just saying that the focus from Arsenal fans. But that's why we focus. Yeah, we hate Tottenham. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Every year, it's 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 one of the things that's added into one of your achievements for the year, kind of thing. But f- do, you, do, you see, <laughs> no, do you see what I'm saying? It's it's just you know every what? year. In, it's oh, we we and, and we bang day, Tottenham and enjoys. you know um or Tottenham mind the gap. But it's like no, no, no. Tottenham is not. Is it Tottenham will not be a, will never be bigger than Arsenal. Let's not forget Tottenham started the mind the gap stuff. And we jumped on it because it was like, 100%. Tottenham, you mind this guy. But the thing is, you have to remember, Tottenham never used to beat Arsenal. Yeah, It was a while ago since they used to beat Arsenal. Then when under Harry, they started beating us. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. 
where the hell's Tottenham coming from? Yeah. Tottenham wasn't really and a team. I think it was like there's three. There's been about three seasons where it's come down to the last day. It's gone. Yeah, we've had about yeah two to three seasons that we've, we've actually so, it's gone on the last day. So that's why, like for me, I don't think it's been as big this year as it has been in the past. No, nah, I think this, it was big this year. This year, I don't as think. Sports season. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I don't it know. This year it didn't seem that big to me. I mean, I mean it was big, in, but everybody thought Tottenham were going to lose. Even Tottenham fans were saying... But that's why I thought that it wasn't massive. that big this year. Because yeah. you know what? Most of the time, sometimes Tottenham have come to the Emirates favourite to win. Last year, they were favourite to win the, to win both titles and lost both titles. Well, because they signed seven players? Yeah. Yeah. And they were and they were unbeaten. And they hadn't though. conceded a goal it, until it they met Arsenal last night, year. I think. They hadn't yeah. met Arsenal. They hadn't, met, they hadn't conceded a goal when they played us. They had one, I think, every game, like 1-0. And then they came to, to came to the Emirates. They were above yeah. us at the time. And Arsenal, yeah. Arsenal were favourites this time, and Tottenham could have easily won. And yeah, exactly. So it's but they were favourites before the transfer deadline day ended. Who? Um, Tottenham. As in, it's not. It's too early days to even say that they were. It was early. It, it was a big. If it was, if it was February or March, I'd be like, alright, cool. Tottenham have had a, a very good record. Yeah. And so they come into the Emirates and they come in. As, but if you're coming at, at what at the end of of, of August. Yeah. Or early September. It's not. True. It's nothing big to, to like. Man United fans will say this season in August, Phil Jones was the best defender. That's nothing to go by. Yeah. Because it's August. Yeah. It's it's not it's not a big thing, bro. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, Arsenal's beef is very different to to Abu Dhabi simply because we're a team who weren't even from North London and moved to the area, and it's like we're trying to say North London is red, and it's like how dare we say that? And so from the Tottenham side of things, it's like no, North London's white. We talking about you lot in the South? Stick to South. If we come to Tottenham and beat Tottenham, and then overtook their sort of stance in North London. So there's a lot more beef behind, in terms of, compared to United's and compared to... Because I'm, I'm, I'm going back to Thierry Henry's interview yeah, well. on Sky Sports when he's basically like, guys... <laughs> yeah, but Thierry doesn't be, understand. Be, doesn't be, understand being that. Tottenham is, is, is a given. Making fourth is a given. You're he's, a Premier League chasing... Club, but he, he wasn't. He wasn't here when we've gone through the draft. No, no, I'm not you know saying, saying he was. I'm just saying that. No, me, that's, why, that's why I can't. I can't stand he, it. He when, was I can't stand, yeah, I can't stand it when <laughs> him and Adams and all them lot come out of that. Because I'm like, you weren't here during no, the know, draft. Do you know, I'm not even saying that being Tottenham is bad. I'm not saying the rivalry is bad. I'm just yeah. saying the focus of Arsenal fans is majority of the time on fourth and beating Tottenham. And I'm like, no, no, no. You're a bigger club than that. We are. You're a much bigger club than that. We are, and you're right. Maybe the but focus shouldn't be as strong, I but I, 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 I still think I don't that agree. we just hate the fact that if we could ever lose to Tottenham, it's just is a big deal for us. Because because it's, it's like would you would you rather lose to Tottenham and win the league? Of course, of course you would. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, would. That's what I'm saying. Of course you would. Yeah, and but I think, I think the focus of of Arsenal as a, like as a team and the way we look at what they should be achieving, it's not the same as it was ten years ago. It's just not. Yeah, because of circ- circumstance. Yeah, I, I, I hear so, that. And I think in the past five years, in the past five years, it's fair to say that beating Tottenham is, is something that you could look forward to as opposed to winning the league because of what's happened in the previous five years. Mm. Do you get what mm. I mean? I get what you're saying. So, I, get, I mean, now we're at the position I where... Just don't, Arsenal haven't finished in the top two for how long? We're, we're, we're in a position now we should be finishing in the top two now. And that's why I think it, it won't be as much as of a, a, a focus. The emphasis. Yeah, it won't be as much. It's because... I we, hope not. You know what it is? I kid you not, Arsenal fans used to look at it as whoever finishes third wins the league. Because we know City and Chelsea will be top two, yeah? And that's just a given because hold of, on, hold on, because hold of the billions. <laughs> yeah. I hear what I'm saying. Because of the billions, it's like we don't include the billionaire teams in the Premier League anymore. So whoever finishes just behind them wins the league. It was like literally like that. It was, it was literally like that. Yeah, because it was like... Because, was, because honestly, Robin, correct me if I'm wrong, if we, if we don't make top four, then this is all hypothetical. I don't know yeah. what it feels like to not, to not be top two. But... If 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 we're looking forward to the Manchester Derby to win the league, I don't know what I'd do to myself, bro. No, but in, in your case, in <laughs> yeah, your case, in, right in, in, right but it, it is what? right now. It is that right now, Man United right are not looking you, to win the league. You're looking, no, no, but I'm no, but I'm not looking forward to beating Man City yeah. more than winning. The league. I want, I'm more concentrated. I'm more. I'm not no, looking forward to it. No, because no, what, what the, but the, neither are Arsenal. Neither are Arsenal. That's no. the thing. The, with Arsenal, it was because the, realistically we won't win the league. We would look for the next best thing, beating Tottenham. Do you get? Boy, so I'm looking to yeah. get as high as Chelsea, United's next big thing would be from winning the league, it would be to beat City. Because A, they're the champions. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, but and B, it's a Manchester I'm Derby. As high as possible. High as I'm, possible. Not, I'm not looking to... Okay. Yeah, but that's part of it, though. <laughs> We're beating Tottenham is part of finishing as high as possible. You need to win the game. Because I also don't want to just beat so Tottenham. Not, not like not we don't want to finish in the top four. We want to beat Tottenham. What I'm saying is our emphasis is just finishing as high as possible for now. Yeah. That's what I'm. That's my only The thing is, I couldn't care less about beating City. The thing is, I want to. I want. To, I want. To, I want to beat everyone. 
I'm just saying that my emphasis right now as a United fan in in, in October is finishing way higher than seven. The thing is, though, yeah, is that Arsenal, when it was Arsenal Tottenham, yeah. the winner would finish above there. the other one. It was a it was a case of that's how tight those games were because Arsenal would probably finish would finish fourth maybe two points ahead of Tottenham each season, and so it was a case of the, who won the North London derby gets fourth place. That's how big that game would be because there was more at stake of just beating each other. Right, was like that last year. But when, when, like, when, when United are fighting ch- fighting City for the title. That's why the derby is even more emphasis. But this that season, game can make or break the league title. This season, I think Arsenal players and fans have come out and said we're gonna we're gonna challenge for the title this season. Yeah, I think that's the aim. Yeah, and it's just the Tottenham game has come along and, and it's you know and it, Arsenal are like we're it's, gonna beat Tottenham. It's the first time we've didn't. said that since yeah. I can't remember. I don't remember the last time Arsenal came out and said we're gonna go for the title. I don't remember the last time that happened. Probably mm-hmm. when we had Fabregas. Do you know what I mean? So that's, that's probably the last time we've actually said, you know what, this year we're fighting for number one. Because we couldn't back in the day, the last four or five years. We actually couldn't. We would be lying to anybody to mm. say that. Wenger would always say, you know, the aim is to finish top. He would say that. Because you can't go into a press conference saying we're, our aim is to finish in the top four. Because, boy, that would like stir up a riff altogether. But um, Flamini... Mug. <laughs> Mug. Flamini's dispossession uh, disp- no, was dispossessed for... I blame Chesney, bro. Do you? Yeah. Bro, well, you can see, you, you have to know that Tottenham attackers hadn't gone... Can't just distribute like that. Oh, here, yeah. take the ball. Take and the Chambers ball. under pressure. He passed it to Flamini. Yeah. And he's not a good DM. He <laughs> loses the ball. <laughs> Wait, what was Gibbs doing? The boy Why wasn't Gibbs Chadley. on, t- on Chadley? Well... Why was it it's just men mistakes. Yeah, to men, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was a chain of events yeah, yeah. that happened. <laughs> <He's next to laughs> you just look at it like, oh, from Chesley stuff. to you know an under pressure Chambers to a poor. I don't know what. I don't, I don't know, know if it was a poor pass or whether Flamini is just not capable. He's just not capable. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll be honest. I was never on the Flamini train ever. When he left Arsenal, that was the end for Flamini for me. And now he's back, and it's it's made Wenger not oh, buy free. DMs. That's what I'm it's things free. like that that's made him not buy DMs. And now he's talked about when DRB Wenger's being that DM though. as well. I'm like, dude. Wenger's stubborn, bro. You know, it's I like, realised. Now, now there's injuries to Arteta and Ramsey. Uh, heading heading to Galatasaray guys. and Chelsea. Massive games. Massive games. Oh, we cannot lose that game. Which, Which game? one? Um, Galatasaray, <laughs> yeah. bro. Arsenal can't, no, can't lose. can't lose, for sure. Arsenal can't lose that. You can't lose, for sure. Today. We cannot lose that no, game. No, no, no doubt. We can't lose that game at and all. The point is not good enough as well. We have to win. Yeah, I, I'd love. Who's the other team in our group? And Dortmund. Like, like, and and Dortmund. I don't want second, bro, because I know we're gonna get ah. Yeah, that's my problem with the Champions League is that if we don't finish top, I just can't be asked, because finishing second just yeah, puts you in such a massive cool, hole. Bro. You push it to a very. This is gonna sound again, really bro. weird, but as a Chelsea fan, I do kind of like finishing second, because it just means you're gonna get a, a good tie. I know what you mean, but, but you'd rather that if later you've got, in it. If you've, you've got, got the te- if you've got the team capable to beat those big sides, then fine. It's, just, it's not even that. <coughs> it's just we just <coughs> relish it. I love playing against teams like Barcelona. Arsenal are always so close in these big ties. That's what really angers me the most. It's like we're always one goal away and we go out. <laughs> and, and away goal away and we're out. Do yeah, you know what I mean? A, a top it's team is never going to get battered. Well, you know. In a game where they're competing. You know what I mean, though. When you look at... Because when you look on paper, Arsenal playing Bayern Munich, you'd think, oh, good night, Arsenal. But then the game turn comes on and you're like, whoa, this is what, you know, that's what like, makes like, yeah, like, it's, it's like the last same way. Was it, it was missed that penalty. When he missed that penalty when, when Arsenal was really on top of that yeah, game. Yeah, but it's the same way you just... look at a team in the stature of Man United and yeah. you look at them against West Ham and then you watch the game and West Ham are inches away from getting an equaliser, but they lost. Now that's a similar situation. There. Anyway, yeah. So, that's the thing. We have to finish top. Uh, we have to finish top. What about Ox? The Ox? I mean, oh, yeah. he, he almost missed that. I was so scared. <laughs> I think, I think Welbeck's 360 was the best part of it. <laughs> the no, best. I was going mad. When he missed it, I was just like, fam, you're right there, Danny. bro. Danny. <laughs> Danny. 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 No, I, Danny. Retweeted, I retweeted Oscar's tweet, bro. How, like, I was laughing. How, 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 do you, how do you think of oh, Danny yeah. so far? What do you, how do you think Welbeck's performed this season so far? Um, he, he needs bro, goals. Four, two, three. I'd put us, me, bro, just put Urzel behind him, it would be fine. I mean, uh, I it, don't get it. If you're Wenger now tonight, who do you even play in midfield today? Like, what formation do you play and who do you even play? Because I have a feeling people like Cochrane might be in today's team. That kind of worries me. I'll, I'll put <laughs> Rizicki, you know I mean? bro. I think, he's t- I think his time's done. I think people like Rizicki, his time's done. Podolski's time's done. I think those are two players that have to go this season. At the end of the year. Then who do you put him in midfield then? 
That's the thing. Santi. That's the thing, the, the, the centre mids though, isn't it? Like the... Yeah, and plus... Oh, yeah. That's amazing. W- w- Wilshire Flamini. Wilshire can't be Wilshire start, can't, start. Can't, if he can't starts, risk, I'll be so mad. I'll be so mad if he starts. Oh, so the, then it looks like your other option is Diaby. If he starts... Diaby's not fit. He's, he's, not not even, f- he's not even been in the squad. I don't think he was in the bench against Tottenham. That's the, that's the, thing, that's the thing with the he's four, not fully fit. Four, one, 4 1 You're using Wilshire and Rams at the same time. One of them get injured or both, you're screwed. It's annoying. Anyways, mm, but yeah, Tot- Tottenham as well. Yeah. Um, what's happening over there with Pochettino? I mean, do you guys think it's the curse of Daniel Levy? You think so? No? <laughs> <laughs> I think there'll be. If I was a Tottenham fan, I'd be very disappointed at, at the game. Why? At the weekend, because I just feel like Tottenham had more clear cut chances than Arsenal did. They had thirty percent of possession. Yeah, I know, but they played. They were playing counter track. A, lot, a, lot, of you, a they, lot of your shots came from outside the box. A lot of their shots came from actual. Yeah. Counter attacks in the box. They were inviting you lot on a lot, and they broke in the first half. They had about three they breaks had, towards listen, the end. Tot- Tottenham, where Chadley missed a I four chance. Would be more Adebayo about missed about a couple. Than Tottenham. Tottenham went no, no, away no, from but, home. But when you look point. at the way the game went, Tottenham were ahead. Tottenham had half, they were, half they an hour ahead. to go, and you they think, ahead. and that hold on to that. Hold on to that. So it's like that's the thing, like. Why would Tottenham be more disappointed than Arsenal? I the way, get, well, no, the way I, I, the game, I don't agree with that. No, oh, I, I yeah. mean, I didn't. I don't think they'll be more disappointed than Arsenal because Arsenal will feel they should have won before and afterwards. But with the way the game panned out, yeah. Tottenham will feel they should have held on to it. It's the same way I said Chelsea last week against City. I was so happy with us getting a point, but the way the game panned out, I feel like we could have held on to the lead. Do you know what I mean? And I think towards the end, Pochettino will say if we were tighter at the back. If you were, yeah, if they were tighter at the back, because Kabul for me was getting he, him and Loris were close to that man of the match thing for me, bro. Yeah. Loris had an Loris. unbelievable performance. Yo, unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. And save and burst was, like his header. I don't yeah, know how he yeah. saved that. And it was, um, it was a poor, it was a poor clearance that. from Lamella that led to the Arsenal goal. So if you, you know, erase those mistakes, Tottenham could have come out with a one 0 win. But then if you erase Arsenal's mistakes, then who's to say? Yeah, I know, but Tottenham are looking from their perspective and Arsenal are looking from theirs. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. And, that's and, why I'm like and, and Tottenham were leading. But that's what I'm saying. If 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 Arsenal hadn't made the mistake in the first in, in the first place, because at nil nil, who looked the better team? But it's, it was Arsenal the same way. The better, Arsenal, Arsenal looked. The no, no, Arsenal no, no, had no. most of the ball, but you they didn't to, look like the scoring. Thing, the thing Tottenham is, looked like the scoring. Is, it's like it's like it's like it's like before before one nil, it's like the Liverpool game. Balotelli had shots, mm. but they weren't convincing shots. They were shots that would make you think, oh, he's going to score. Then he doesn't. But Lloris pulled out good saves. No, I don't think we, we were bad convincing. No, do you know it's because you guys don't shoot it from outside the box. When I saw Wilshire doing it, I was like, rah. That annoys me, Bob. What's going on today? Yeah, I, I, felt yeah like, I just thought like, I thought Lloris had an outstanding game. Outstanding and, game. And that's why we didn't win. Nah, I don't nah, think it's bro, I don't think bro. it's our conversion. Nah, right. I no, don't think it was necessarily no, I, that. I, I think I think no, I think I in the box you weren't as clinical. Yeah, as Tottenham. Yeah. In the box, oh, no, you weren't. He put the Luis pulled out some yeah. match winning saves. No, one I thing is, think he did in, one in the box. You huh? the, the match like the a box. header. That nah, was he it. did quite a few in what the first else? half because it's in the first half. It doesn't look like they were going to be that important because it's in the first half of the game. But he pulled out a lot of saves in the first half. Mm, I don't know. I think they're comfortable. Even, I think even, comfortable in, in, in even the, the beginning half. of the second half, we seem to be quite I, 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 I agree with Oscar. I think. I think. I think Tottenham were comfortable with you guys coming at them the yeah. way you did. I think that's, what that's why thirty percent possession looks bad. But for them, it was like Ooh. I don't think they were comfortable. They were because every, think, time, every, were every time Tottenham hit you on a counter attack, they look like scoring. They look but scary. any team looks like scoring against no. Arsenal every time they hit us. No, but, not but Arsenal didn't look like scoring the other end. I disagree. Ericsson Ericsson got the ball off 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 Flamini. I disagree. That should never happen. That should have wow, never we're happened. About Firmini, Eric's got the ball of Firmini? Yeah. I mean, hey, we're couple, talk- those are two different quality players, two different of class players. No, what I'm saying is Ericsson is not a, a pressing player. No, but so for him to get the ball, it's like, Flamini, you're, 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 you're a... Flamini's not good. And you don't want Flamini <laughs> using the ball either. Flamini's not good enough. Nice, and don't forget, we were already like two substitutions down at half time. Do you know what I mean? It's like we went into the second half where the players Wenger would have brought on in that second half. He couldn't. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, then, so then can't you see why Tottenham would feel a bit... No, because we're a better team than Tottenham. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, but only marginally. Because even nah, not now, not marginally now. I wouldn't say that. If you said to me last year, maybe, and even last year, we were, I think we were much better than Tottenham last yeah, season. Yeah, when you look at the squads, yeah, when you look at both Arsenal squads. Should be doing a lot better. It should be doing a lot. Every time we rate the Tottenham team was when they had Van der Vaart, That Modric, year, even Bale, then, yeah, that year, Bale, that, yeah, that was the year when they did finish in the top when four. Then was on point. That's when they finished in the top four. And you look at Arsenal's team that finished third in that same year. And it's weird because right now they've got so many good players that just aren't clicking. Clicking, yeah. Ooh. I feel like Ericsson's been really good. Why, why did he go to Tottenham? 
No one else. Nobody else made a no, big thing. I, I, I thought Liverpool did. Well, no. This I is this is a, a capital T in I thought. <laughs> it's, uh, it, I I thought they made. I, I thought I know, Ian Air did. The Mela seems like he has so much potential to be a good player, but against Arsenal, shouldn't have I, left I didn't really see it. Shouldn't have left Roma. When thirty million comes at your door, you don't have the option to stay or not. No, you shouldn't. Roma, have left Roma, Roma. Roma Roma told you to get out. That's what they will tell you. If you put thirty million for that kid. Roma tell you get out. of Lamella was such a such a prospect. I'm not even saying he's not a prospect now. It's just like Roma, it was a different. I think he'll be good though. I think he'll be good. Fish. I think mm. he'll be good. I, so, think, I just think Tottenham is not a place you go to to put to to pursue your career. The thing well, is, you, when, I, you, when, you, when, you, when, when you're abroad, when you're from another place, and you look at the league being the best league in the world, and then you look at Tottenham, who are a decent enough team that you would that you could consider joining, that finish in the top half every year, you would not. Uh, you know, you would not say, "Ah, oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to Tottenham." And there have been, bang, bro. and there have been plenty of players that come to Tottenham, done well, and moved on in their career to, to better things. Modric, Bale, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but they don't, they don't, they don't come there to stay at Tottenham. That's what I'm yeah, saying. No, but no, I don't but think the men has come to stay. No, no, as in, as in, no, no, what I'm saying is that it, when it, when you look at in terms of the actual structure of Tottenham as a club, mm-hmm. you don't go there to actually because Tottenham is there to just make six. Try and get into the top four every year. I don't and know. Then, I and, think then, and then wither. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think, player, no, no, player I, think I, I genuinely are. believe that it, they, they, they've actually, when they do sign these players and whatnot, they actually had a, an ambition to get into that top four, yeah. and actually break and make it in there and stay there. And so when you sign your players like Lamella and all them kind of people. And especially at the time they signed top, when AVB had just come when in. When AVB had just come in, you knew that, okay, here's the vision and this is where we're going to go. And, you, you know, you couldn't say. Because from the outside world, when you look at it, joining Tottenham is massive. That's a massive, massive yeah, yeah, deal. From, 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 from the perspective of, of someone who doesn't live in England. Yeah, definitely. Come London Tottenham. club. Yeah, lo- yeah, yeah. The you, attractions that yeah. everyone's watching you every week. Yeah, you know what I mean? So league. it helps. You live in the hood. Yeah. You know? <laughs> if you're coming from the bits, from like, you know, if you're coming from wherever and you're moving over. I, I don't know. As a fan, I've always looked at Tottenham as a graveyard. <laughs> always. <laughs> they sign 10 midfielders. They sign 10 midfielders every year in use five. That is so you're, I mean, you're, you're I mean they, had, they had Scott Parker in their team one time. Wilson yeah. Palacios. Yeah. Nico Crenshaw. No, that's Redknapp's fault. <laughs> that comes down to Redknapp. Yeah, it does. Redknapp had like 20 midfielders in that, in do, that do team. Do you remember when they Jamie had Jamie O'Hara? Had Vart, Bentley, O'Hara. They had David Bentley in there. So you see what I'm saying? Okay, I see why you've developed that. It's, it's, it's very but, much it's very much like you go there and what is your ambition? Yeah. When you go to Tottenham, it's like, like, what are you I, I doing when you go to Tottenham? Because I always think of the good. I always think of the few that came out of Tottenham. No, do you know it's not? when no, you no, think no, of all no. the players that didn't. It's no, like, no, but what I'm saying, exactly. Yeah. When, 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 when you look at Modric, he came to leave. It was a springboard to leave. Yeah, that's what I think about Lamella and Ericsson. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. So, but, but I think if these players play well, they want to move on to top clubs. Lamella, bro, you would have to bang for someone to take him. Yeah, because you, you, you signed it for 30 million. 30 million. Yeah, actually, you're very, Modric very right. was, was cheap. I think it was at 16. Modric, and, then, and then you went for 33. And then you went for 33. Do you see what I'm saying? So, it's, it's Van, Van der Vaart came, came for three seasons, and, he, and he left in two. <laughs> and said, my wife's trying to start a family in Germany. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's Tottenham is not... I don't know. I've never felt Tottenham, man. Honestly, <laughs> I've never felt Tottenham, man. In terms of pursuing your career as a football player... Yeah. I, I don't I don't think you should go there. If you wanna be a if you wanna be a don, go to Arsenal. Danny Rose. If you wanna be a don it. even now, go to Southampton because Bandon will copy from Southampton, bro. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, but Tottenham well, is like really dog. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you go? <laughs> uh, again, Tottenham have the money, so the, curse the wages of Danny the wages can, can, can lure you in as well. Hey, bro. So um, you know, playing in, in so, London. So yeah. What do you think of tonight then? Arsenal, Galatasaray. Win. The, thing Win. Is, the thing is, I, I don't have confidence in Arsenal this year. I, I don't know why. I, don't I have an interesting stat for you guys. I don't. Go on, go on. Interesting stat. Arsenal. 18 years, Arsenal Wenger. In 154 games in the Champions League, you've only won 46% of those games. 46%. So that's well, less than half. It sounds about right because you haven't won the Champions League. I mean, yeah, well, if you yeah, haven't won it, like, then you can't really be even bother 50%. Yeah, because and <laughs> got, to, go out, to go out of the Champions League, you have to lose. You have to lose. <laughs> They've lost yeah, every I love year. the way you simplified it. Yeah, no, no. Because, because it's like... <laughs> I would have expected it to be more than half. One. But no, I, 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 I honestly no. expected it to be more than half. Because in the group stage, you bang. So I'm just like... No, because Arsenal always go no, through the group stage. No, no, so no, you expect it to be that one first half. era of two group stages, Arsenal never made the knockouts. <laughs> that era of having two group stages in the Champions League was the curse of Arsenal. We never made it out of them group stages. So, so tonight, what are you saying? Tonight, 1-0 Arsenal. But 
You know, oh, cliche. I think, I think, I think, I think um, it will be a draw. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Galatasaray do well away from home. I don't think they really do well away from That's home. True. The, the worry for we me beat is them. Chelsea beat them. The, the way the, the, the worry for me is is what frustrated me about the Tottenham game was simply that we take forever to wake up. When we went one 0 down, it was good for us so that we would finally think, snap, we're one 0 down. Do you get what I'm saying? The urgency. Um, you know, there the is Arsenal, no the, urgency. You know, Arsenal fan TV when they get the little interviews in and that. One guy was dropping this thing of we're not lethal anymore. And that's exactly what I uh, love. Bully, that's, that's the one thing I really, really miss about Arsenal is that when we used to go to guys and kill no. you. Do you no, know what I'm saying? Here's the thing. It's the character. Listen. Half when time, you had Henri, bro. Bro, you knew time. when he threw on goal. Yeah, yeah, Listen, go! we, we would go three and a half half time in games. And we knew that, all right, year, half time, I can leave the ground. I, I can go to the pub from it. Because three nil, that's it. Shut down and, shop. And, and I'll, even, I'll even go as far as Henri. I'll go as far as 2012. Hmm. Arsenal came to Old Trafford and had 14 shots. At David De Gea. Do you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen that since that year. You know what I'm saying? Then. That's the year when we That's lost eight two. Eight two. That game. That's when we lost eight two and we had fourteen game. shots. And I, do you know, do you know what I'm saying? That like, game. That's one thing that I I will give respect to Manchester United. If there's anything I will respect about that club, it's simply when it used to when it came to beating teams, we're not gonna beat you. We're gonna leave you dead. And that's, yeah. the, that's one thing I'd yeah. rate about Manchester yeah. United, is that they were just so lethal. That's that, that, and that's why Moyes was so lethal. Moyes, Moyes, Moyes was an anti climax in that. There were, there were games where you thought, is this just the players and just the United philosophy? Or is 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 it that Moyes actually gotten something in, in like he's done something in here? Trust. And throughout the whole season, the le- is lethality a word? The lethalness of Man United <laughs> in some <laughs> games yeah, yeah, yeah. was just like, no, but we need to attack though. That's was that, no, 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 like, that's what's wrong with that, Everton, bro. No, they, I wish I could shake your hand from across the room. Why is Nani Mata and Kagawa going up to Jagielka and we stop. <laughs> no, we just, no, honestly, we just that's we what just I miss. That's what I miss the most about Arsenal is that we used to kill games. Oh. Home at home especially. That means yeah, we is would it, kill games at is home. Is it Wenger and the type of players he's buying or just the players themselves? The players themselves, because Wenger wants to win the game. Do you get what I mean? I can't even bring that down to him because he doesn't go to a game thinking, you know, if we get one up, guys, let's sit down and you know, blah blah blah. Right, he wants, wants he wants to beat everybody. Do you know what I'm saying? He kicks every ball on that pitch, man. Like, in his mind. Like, he's literally all yeah, over it. Because, fam, we're always trying to walk the ball into the net, bro. And the style of play could be one thing. But That's it, why I was like, shocked but, at, the, at the Tottenham attack. But even at the style of play, we've had games where we have done well and we've put four fives against people. So, I don't know. It's then just... That means it, it's it, the player. The players themselves. It comes down to us waking up, yo. Man, them, Real talk. Let's go. Real talk. That's exactly what it comes down to. So, uh, that's the thing. It's like, you go to a game now, you think... Oh man, we, we, look at the players we have right now. To say that we've got Sanchez and Ozil and stuff like that in our team and we can't be putting teams to bed, that's worrying me, man. That's very much that's worrying me. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have confidence in, in, in Arsenal this, this year. They make it I, so do you hard think, for yeah, Do you so think hard. we need a lethal finish up front? Because <sighs> um, for everyone to know, like, you know... Midfielders are... No, you I, I like... I want the t- the joys. I just want... Yeah. What I would like to see is is us, when we're attacking, we are pressing that team down. And literally with pace and everything. At Tottenham, it was very one, two touch, three touch, four touch. Yeah. Rather than what we used to go ping, ping, ping and go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about intimidation. That's what I want to see from our team. You don't have to be a big player. Fabregas was intimidating. He was such a serious four, two, player. Three, one. Yeah, he was so intimidating. No, four, two, three, one. <laughs> This 4-1-4-1. <laughs> it, it don't work. Yeah, I would even, who's your two? I would even, I would even like 4-3-3. Three, three, in in that 4 2 three, one, three, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the argument. For me, if it were me, if I was Arsenal Wenger, it's a risk, but Wilshere and Ramsey would be That's what I was going to say. It's a risk, risk no, but Wilshere and Ramsey. are defensive minded. No, no, but, no, but, no, but it, is. it's the lesser of two evils. Wilshere is. I wouldn't have Arteta and Flamini. I wouldn't have Arteta because... Until <laughs> January, they have you know the the options. One of the worst things I've heard this season yeah, so far is that Arteta is extending his contract. And that's, that's I read asked. that today as well. Can't be one year contract. Ah, oh, for flip's sake. I've read something like it's till 2000 and what? Is it 18? So oh, what contract is he on there? Like, isn't that Giroud? No, that's Giroud. Maybe so. Yeah, Maybe so. I just saw Arteta getting a new contract. And I just thought, no, Oscar, oh, honestly, uh, until January, th- yeah, those are, that's what they I would play. I would play Wilshire and, and Ramsey in that holding. And then you play Ozil in the number 10. And then on the left, you've got Sanchez, Walcott is on the right, and Giroud up top. That would be my first team. Straight up. And most Arsenal fans will say that. Straight up. 
It's sad that Giroud is better than Welbeck. Do you know that? It's very sad. Do you know but, that? Mm, yeah. Exactly. So then, here we are again. Welbeck against Tottenham was just not making the right runs. I don't feel like. Three sixty. Yeah, three sixty. I, I, I will. I will. I will be. I will say this. <laughs> that was though. one time you know he's in the right position. You know what? No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Though. It's it's it's, it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard for. It's hard for. Um, Did you watch Welbeck in that game? It's hard. Know. It's hard for thing. It's hard for Welbeck only because he's come from a club where he wasn't really getting a lot of uh, number nine role. And he comes to Arsenal and he has to play against Dortmund, City, Spurs, all in like in a row, do you know what I mean? And it's, it's tough. So I, I no, give him the benefit that's what of the... No. Yeah, but you, no. He, no, you can't just join a team and do that do straight you know, away. Do you know why I say no? Because he wasn't playing for Sunderland. He was playing for Man United. No, every no, game he had to no, win. No, no, every game no, he had to perform. It's a different... No, because the, the, the pressure wasn't on him at United. It's, a, it's about the it same as when, when, The when, pressure... When, the, when, no, it's when, not. When, no, when it's Percy not. and Rooney were injured, it was. Because yeah. he was the one... Num- but you know what it is? I will say this. But he had games prior that to be... Oh. Because he had games prior of Van Persie and Rooney's injuries and, and whatever. He, he had, he had, he had games and yeah. then when he came up front, it's the confidence is, look, I've, I've got used to playing here. This is how I play. He's joined a team which has played completely different to Manchester United. And not only that, he has to play against company one week. Then he has to play against, you know, okay, Kabul is not really a massive deal, but he plays against um, Su- uh, Subotic one week. He plays, you know what I mean? He's in the Champions League. He now has to go away from home. He has to go play at Villa. He has to, it's not easy. It's for him, it's been like, raw. a minute ago, I was like, Man United. Now I've played five games under Arsenal. What? What? That's, the, what you asked it, for. that's how quick it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So you you know, I'm saying give him time. I'm yeah. just thinking he's, he's oh, yeah, yeah, it's too soon. Yeah, I hope definitely. He that, and, and, and that's why that's why I'm I'm not. And he's I'm, 23, so I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not really. really but but the thing is, when you ask for things like that. Let's move away from the North London derby. Um, Manchester United uh, got 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 under a victory again, second victory at um, Old Trafford. Um, just about squeezed it in against uh, West Ham, two one. Um, Rooney's Paddy red card, <laughs> Mr. Paddy. Um, Paddy. Uh, Rooney's sending off, probably being the most talked about story of the game. Um, also, even Nolan's disallowed goal. Um, but anyway, Manchester United. How how do you guys think? Uh, the game went down. We, we, Are you much happier? We, 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 we got a win. We got a win. Like, three points. To me, three points is three points. Regardless of how Even against teams down. like West Ham. West, yeah, Ham West, 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 West Ham should have scored goals. Yeah. But, but I, I mean... N- Nolan's goal was offside. It was, yeah. The, there was a, there's a chance. What? Was, Can I ask... Mean, quick, let me ask you guys. What is the offside rule? Because uh, for, for the life of me... Any part of your body that, listen, that is listen, a head listen. doesn't matter where. Do not, stick your, do not stick a part of your body... That can score. On, yeah, that's bro, that's the rule. Don't do it. Don't do it. I I think he was onside. It's the saddest rule. Do you know why? Because his feet were onside. You know and what I'm saying? And you foot. run. So and you like, run with your. You know what I mean? You're running. I mean, I, I see. I, why I see. I don't blame the referee for for flagging. I don't. I don't blame him. I just, it's, it's I, I just need clarity on this rule. It's a tough call. Because you know, like your arm can be offside, right? No, and it can't. It can't. It's the the part of your body that, that you can, can score, score with. If he can score with his head and his head's offside, then he's offside. He can't score with his hand. So if he's calling for did the ball see, here, did, did, you, see, did, you, see, did you see Ivanovic? Ivanovic's um, position. I think against Everton. Did he score a goal against Everton? Do you remember? Yes, yes, he did. Yes, he was offside, but I've forgotten a part of his body that was onside, but it wasn't his feet. Yeah, I'm. Mean, there was controversy about that. I don't remember. Yeah, because Monday yeah. Night Football they analysed it. Because I watched it live, and I said, "No, he's offside." The other said, "No, no, he's not." I said, "No, no, no. Watch, watch the replay. He's off." The offside rules a joke. It's a Sorry. some of the football rules are uh, rules are a joke. Because if I'm standing on side, but my head is offside, yeah. That's because I'm running. It's just the way I'm running. I'm standing. And defenders in the way. aren't running that way. I feel so like your feet, not your feet be that should way. determine whether you're on side. Listen, 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 listen. You're standing listen, in the listen, place. Listen, listen. Until that goes against my team. <laughs> Kevin Nolan was offside. For goodness <laughs> sake. It's, I, I don't know. It's just annoying. The offside but, to be honest, like, I, don't, I don't really feel that much sympathy for West Ham in that sense because I just feel like Rooney got sent off. They had half an hour. And they didn't do much for 15 minutes. And then towards the end of the game, they started to pile on the pressure. And it, it just felt like... Phew, West Ham wow. are a good side and they, they you know, really should have got something you know, out of the game you know but they didn't football manager it. overload yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> it, man. Man, I'm switching bro straight up they didn't do that they did not overload bro man, anyway but yeah Rudy Rudy uh, man, out, out for the rest business. of October he's out for the whole month of October he, he deserved look at the games that are idiotic it was very idiotic but it's a, it's 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 is he not a massive massive player for Manchester United where we're talking we're talking games that 
when, when like, he's our know, biggest player. The good mm. thing about Rooney's ban is that it's three games, but they're only domestic games, so he still can play Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> He's still available. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rooney, Rooney is available. I had for to. Come on, I had to. It's only one season. They're at the Champions League. I know, I know. No, I'm getting in as much as I can. But you know, I would love United to finish on top of Chelsea just because you, you made that comment. Pray for it. No, no, no. I'm not gonna listen. I don't pray for football, bro. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, no. Um, Idiotic. But I want to see our team without who, Rooney. Who are the games in October? I'm sure you got Chelsea, Chelsea and that. Everton, Everton, West Brom, Chelsea. Ooh. Is tough, tough the bridge. Matter has to turn up. Those are tough games. Matter's gonna have to turn it's up. Matter will get out of the floor. Is Chelsea at? Where's Chelsea at? Stamford Bridge. No, Stamford Bridge. We've got Everton at Old Trafford, then it's away. Hold on, let me check. Wow, is Chelsea at Stamford Bridge? Where's Brothers away? I swear Chelsea's at is at Old Trafford. Jesus. If it's out, I really want it to be at Old Trafford. I can't wait to win at Old Trafford. No, I don't want it to be at Old Trafford because you don't. You lot ain't gonna go there to win. Yeah, you're right. right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're not gonna go there to win. Yeah, yeah. It's at Old Trafford for flip's yeah, sake. I was at Old Trafford. We're going there to win. We better. I'm gonna phone him. Really. <laughs> I'm gonna phone him. <laughs> Get some three points. That on is the, the one game I went this season to win more no, than any I other think, game. I think it depends on what defense United have though. Just got Jones, Jones, game, Jones is back. Um, no, but we won't complain about Jones is back. Lovely. Jones is back. Um, you that, better that, pray that, and, 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 and the thing, and the thing is, you have, you have to remember. <laughs> you have to remember. I don't know if it's in October because there's an international break, isn't it? That's you know, why. That's know, why Everton, the ban. That's why the ban is Everton international break. Yeah, that's why they say the ban's for the whole month. That's yeah. why the ban's for the whole month because the thing is, I'm loving this, international these break. international breaks because it's giving our players time to recuperate. Yeah. Oh, I hate international breaks. I hate well, international players come back injured, bro. Exactly. I'll tell some medical team. I don't know what's going on there, man. Um, uh, Ro- 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 Rooney being there. injured. Yeah, I think I think it gives, <coughs> it gives matter, and it gives us a chance to see how good we are without Rooney. Because I mean, there's no Herrera as well. He's he's got a little injury. Isn't I'm it? hoping for ladies is, is is available. Or I heard Carrick. he's still on the injury table. And no, Carrick. Carrick. It was showing Man United's injuries yesterday. They said Carrick is out for three months in early so August. Early August. It might have been late July, August. Yeah, so, so it's got to be like he's, he's back. He's, he's back in training so. for at least three weeks now. So we need to get a few preseason um, sort of you know, under 21s games. Yeah. yeah. So I think actually, our only option now. Actually, yeah, he's not central midfield, isn't it? But we just need uh, only only other option yeah. I can see is Anderson. Uh, let me ask you, look, was Rudin's red card a red card? Yes. 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 Really? Yes. Blatantly, yes. that was near assault. That no. was. A, if I could give him a purple card, I would. I don't, I don't know. The only reason why I questioned it is only because. No, no, he hacked him, bro. He, no, he, did. he went for his crown jewels. He did hack him, but... But he, instead of tripping him, he went for a thing, bro. Like, go to know, the red it's, card. I, I, I don't know. When I saw the red card, I was like, oh, he got sent for that. Hey, we've got you know Chelsea I mean? at home. Yeah, he's good. Chelsea at home. Yeah, good. Yeah, so, yeah, that'll be no-no. But, um, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> no, I think United will score. United. No, well, no, no, no. I, I think, Maria, I think, I think one, will do one, it. 1-1. One. I think United will say hello, Costa. Against Everton. No, against you. Say against you lot. It'll be a draw. So I think we'll score. No, no. You've had two clean sheets this season. Yeah, I know. No, I know. No, no. Twice. People don't. No, people don't understand. Have you sit there, bro? I want to sit. We better score against them on Sunday. I want to sit. We have to score against them. You sit there, bro. What are you talking about, bro? You've conceded. Bare yeah, goals this year. Right. Yeah. We will score. I'm not saying we'll win. Oh, I was saying you're saying well, you win. No, 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 no. I mean, score, yeah. But we'll score. <laughs> you may score, <laughs> but Courtois is not solid, bro. Manchester United, yeah. bro. Courtois so, solid. Top He's four. Shaky, bro. Ernest. Yes. Yes. Oscar. What? Top Man United top yes. four. Robin. Of course. Uh, David. Of course, I don't know. But I will say this. I will say this. It's also contingent on the players we sign in January. That is actually very true. It's also contingent. Duffel bag. I, I, I think. I, I think. You know, he's only duffel bag boy on the day. Only oh, on the so day. Duffel, After yeah. that, he's not. Because mm. at, at, at t- today's stage, uh, Falcao's played three games and has had two assists. You're number <laughs> nine, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Van Persie's, Van Persie's correct. getting in them goals because he knows, mate. His, 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 his Van Persie has scored 50 contract goals for us in two mm. seasons. Mm. And plus, plus these recent games. You see what I'm yeah, saying? His, Van Persie is getting them in, bro. Well, he's, he can. Can. You see what I'm he's, he's risking it in there. Um, but, yeah. I can see Farquhar scoring against Everton. Man City also yeah. uh, got a got a right. victory as well, both Manchester clubs. Man City beating Hull 4-2. Some good goals from um, Aguero as well as Dzeko. 
A brilliant header from Mangala. Was it a header? No. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a header. It was a header. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Goal. That was an own goal. Um, you know, so the champions yeah, are. Did you oh. see the foul Mangala did? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. That foul was. It was dick. He yeah, kicked it. Was funny. Him, like, he actually, yeah, literally just <laughs> whacked awful. it. But what was interesting was that Abel Hernandez didn't look like, you know, he didn't look like it was a player who overreacted the challenge. Like, he, he just took it. He just got kicked. He just got kicked. He realised, oh, that. No, there is a growing need for manliness in football. There is a massive need. Honestly. I watched some women's football on Instagram where of this woman who just literally studied on this other girl's fights and it was just like cash. Calm. And I sat there like, what? Calm. Do you know what I mean? So, no, I'm, I'm so with you. The I remember when, needs when to come back Arsenal to were playing Bayern Munich last season and Podolski <sighs> touched his lump and he dropped. I said, get up, bro. What are you talking about? Robin, when he come got on, penalty, man. I was so annoyed. Such a need. Listen, be Even a man, bro. Foul, it would have been, you know what I mean? He still you know, it take it, bro. But um, yeah, so City, you know, good convincing win. Convincing was it? I mean, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to give Hull for, for, for their spirit. Yeah, they, I have to give it for their spirit. Bro. They, they did very well, you know, and it was a close game even last season when they played each other as well. At the at, Hull should have uh, won that game. KC State. That's just they unfortunate. Did. Yeah, because they, I mean, Company City was down, with, down to ten men. Yeah, all that stuff. Hull should have won well. that game. Yeah. But um, yeah, so City are, are back. I mean, uh, do we see City challenging this title? What's happened to them? Why have they? Do you think? Why do you think they started a bit slow? Yeah, yeah. Was, what, yeah. not trying? Yeah, yeah, the thing is, yeah, I think Yaya mentally is just struggling. I think also, what, what I'm seeing from the Premiership is that, like Everton, mm. like Southampton under Pochettino, and even now Koeman, you wonder how long things will last sometimes. Yeah. In terms of, a, a team can be so ill, yep. and then the next season it's like, what happened to you? Yeah. Yaya hasn't turned up this year. No. I think up bar the Chelsea game. He hasn't turned up. And even that, you can argue. I feel like his age is showing, man. Um, but you see, the thing is, players get better with age. Do until you, you hit, like, 33. Bro, Lampard has scored three in though? four, if not four in three. Yeah, but Lampard's a bit of an anomaly. Young is 31, actually. I'm being generally serious. Lampard's an anomaly. Yeah. That we just said. How, you don't get many players that age scoring that type. That right, Ryan Giggs, I mean, Totti. Those are players that came off the bench. Yeah, but Lampard's scored 100. Lampard's scored 173 Premier League goals. Those are players that came off the bench. And an attacking midfielder. 173 Premier League goals. So, he's in the top five of all time. Don't flip, He's in the Premier League history, team of, of the Premier League history. He's in he's in the best team, bro. He could end up being at City for the season. You never know. Could nah. easily be in there. For no, he could. New York. Yeah. No, 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 no. They, I, he, he only, right. only they, because they, they, they City could... and New York are the, of the same ownership, so they could easily give Lampard that season long loan. But the thing is, it would look bad um, on on New York's part, on Man City's part, because you know you've made yeah, a negotiation. Yeah. Lampard's coming. I'm sure, like things like I don't know, season tickets or whatever. But you could see Lampard. I mean, City would benefit a lot from keeping Lampard. I mean, he's no, doing, that's, he's that's the doing thing, a lot yeah. in their team right now. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it, it could be a, the reason why they could even, even retain that. Can player. I just spread a rumour on, on the podcast? Throw that. Player wants to leave Newcastle. Check Tioti. Don't they all want to leave? I mean, what, what's going would, on with Check Tioti? Because I heard about his, he's married a second wife or something like that. He's, got, he's married a second woman. And it's like his, his first wife doesn't even know about it. I'm asking now. this question purely because um, to, to the Arsenal fans in here, would you guys want him? No, he's a wild cat, man. Plus he's that. African, bro. I haven't got time for that. Like, <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna cut, the, bro. the last thing Arsenal needs is someone that we haven't got time for. Bro, gonna, That's he, the last bro, thing he's we need. Cut in general, I know what you mean. He is talented. He can do. Is he a from job. Ivory Coast? Do you know who? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Do you know who? Yeah, I, if, if I was an Arsenal fan, who I want? Who I would want from that team? Sissoko. Sissoko is good. Where I would like you play Sissoko. Him? With, 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 with Ramsey he seems a bit more attacking though, again. he's good but where would you play him that's, that's, my, that's been my only thing I like Sosoko too but I, just, I don't know where you I don't know where you would even play him I, I really stubborn, wanted Kabai last year though when I, when I heard that rumour was really when, true when I saw yeah, when but I heard even if you had like, Kabai no because Kabai replaces Fabregas simple as he replaces Fabregas no, in our team listen when, in our team, when he, he was available for David Moyes looking at Arsenal's team now I don't think Kabai could get in there yeah he would play the centre mid roles 
He'll play that too. That but once about. again, he's not a defensive-minded player. It's I not don't defensive. It's I... not about being defensive because if you've got one that's defensive, not both of them don't have to be defensive. Okay, who's the other one that's defensive? You, well, there is Arteta. He is the captain. He's the he's one. He's the that guy. You, you're upset. He signed a new contract. Yeah, but so. I'm telling you what it is. Like Arteta would I don't be know. there. I think, I think Arteta would. I mean, Kabaye would just be another one on the list. No, the Arsenal wouldn't. midfielders nah. that are creative that can. Look, because last year we could have we could have done with him. Yeah, last year. Last year we could have done with him, especially when Ramsey was out and Wilshere was. Not, was here and there. But we could have like, done with Kabai last But it's year. like, do you sign Kabai to bench him? But we won't, we wouldn't bench him. We wouldn't bench him. You think Wilshere wouldn't would, would have been benched? Well, Wilshere and think. Okay, are you talking about this season? Last season, way. No, nah, because last season they were both injured. Do you remember they were him? Yeah, no, but you don't buy players with the thought that they're going to be. This injured. is what I'm saying. You buy yeah. players with the thought that every player you have is fit. No, because the, the 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 thing was in January because we have no players in centre midfield. We had to buy a player. And that's why we oh, went for the he, 10 oh, million. January. I thought you meant yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm talking about in January. Because he left in January, he could buy it. Again, he said, I'm leaving. Do you know what I mean? And they told us 20 million or something like that. For, for, come on. Um, but um, can we talk about Southampton briefly? I mean, they're in the top four right now. And uh, good start to the Shout season. Out to, to Big up to Ronald Koeman. Shout, Shout out, to, out to the Southampton people. Um, they've, got, they've got off to a good start. I mean, performances are, 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 are doing quite well. It was a bit weird that they only won two one against uh, QPR, but they won. So you know, it, that, I guess that's what I'm It's a win. <laughs> it's a win. Um, they're second in the league, aren't they, Southampton? Um, yeah, yeah, second. Where are they finishing this season? Are we are we, are we looking at them in, in, in the top, top four? four? Are we looking at them in the top four, top five, top six? Do you I think, think the, the real question is, can they make Europe? That's, that's the question. question. Can, can, can Southampton make Europe? I I say yes. I, I think they yes. can. I think they can. But you know, we're <sighs> Because Euro- Europe being six, well, um, Europe being FA Cup, Capital One, or top five. I say it's in the top six as well. Six don't, don't get Newcastle. Six don't get Europa season, League. Don't do six only gets Europa League if the FA Cup winners go into the Champions League. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's the only time. That's the only time they'll do. They'll do Newcastle. Huh? They'll do Newcastle. What? That, no. I'm, I'm very confused by that. Sorry, can we that, go that, back? Go on. So if that that's not the case. Because then, okay. why are Tottenham and Everton in, both in Europe? Because Arsenal won the FA Cup. But then why were Hull in Europe? Because they were the finalists. They were the finalists. So they finalists, they were the finalists. Because also, <coughs> I know, but what I thought what it was, I thought yeah. there's one place from the FA Cup goes yeah. to Europe, and then... Don't, oh, sorry, yeah, last season was thought. because of City won the Capital One. That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sunderland didn't go to Europe. Why? Because the winners of the Capital One go to Europe, go to the Europa League. But it's see, a different rule. So it's a different rule. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. that's why I didn't understand. That's why the sixth place was allowed. Fifth is always a given. Fifth is always a that's given. That's a bit unfair on Sunderland. Well, no, it's a dead cup. You have to win it to get into that. That one I understand. Yeah, you have to win it. Yeah, right. You have to win. I get the FA Cup. That's a bit tighter. But, um, uh, sorry, yeah. So, I, I think they can. They could even win a trophy this year, probably. They're doing, you know, they knocked out Arsenal the capital one, so that's a, they're through to the next round. I don't know how many teams are left in that capital one. No, you don't. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> you had to put that one in there. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, you were right as well. I'm just it's, saying, it's, it's, I'm, 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 I'm just saying as well. <laughs> what about, this is kind of duffy, does, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, MK Don's made it all the way to the fourth, third round? Are they in fourth round now? It's past that. They I'm sure. Guy, I'm sure we're no, I'm the, saying they won their last game. They, they won it 2 0. They beat Bradford. Yeah. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah. you were talking about it. Beat Bradford. No, see, it's because it's your mind is always no, 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 anti United. No, no, no. <laughs> it's true. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> your mind is there. I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not thinking about Arsenal and Southampton, bro. But obviously, that's cool. You should have done your thing. Southampton. I know we should have done our thing. But why did you? And I came and I said we should have done our thing. But why did you? Listen. Not my fault. No, no, why did it? When you're <laughs> stubborn, bro. Go on, Robin. <laughs> no, it's because they're saying here, yeah. up to five teams yeah. can be allowed in the Champions League next year. Whoa. Yes. Is that because that's if a, one yeah. team wins it? That's just, uh, yeah, I think yeah, that's Europe's what I think. The strongest national leagues will now put up four teams this year and yeah. will provide up to Actually, five yeah, yeah, next year. Changing. Next year, yeah, yeah. Next year is so five. So five teams can no. go in next year. No. no. Next year, it's a case of if the team that finishes fifth wins the Champions League, they get into okay, it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chelsea did that. That's fine. What? No, no, Chelsea didn't do that. Chelsea were in the top f- were put in the top four rather than... Yeah, but that's my understanding. Tottenham were thing. kicked out, but next if this happened next year, yeah. Tottenham would have been in it with you. That's annoying. Chelsea finished sixth and in the Champions League. So we won it. Like. Anyway. Yeah, you win it. You fall back in. Yeah, and they went out in the group stage. But anyway. 
Um, <laughs> should we look at Chelsea top of the league? Um, let's briefly talk about them. Chelsea, Chelsea are top of the league. <laughs> listen, uh, listen. Costa's hammy, bro. Your season hangs on that hammy, bro. <laughs> hey, agreed. Real talk, bro. I, I'm so down with that. Real I'm talk. I'm so down with that. No, because we can win games. That hammy Costa. goes. Well, you're, you're in the league without Costa. Obviously not. That's what I'm saying. Well, well, hammy I, hands I, down I, the I, league. I, I but think, we can win games I, without Costa. I, 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 think, I think you can win the league without Costa. I don't agree. Oh, Remy and Jogba. I mean, I it, it, it'll be a tougher season. It'll be a tougher season. Bear in mind, we're a striker. Remy? No, they can't win the league with Remy. I don't know. I'm just saying. They, I don't think they can uh, win the league with Remy. You know what? Not when. Not when. Listen, not when. Jose Mourinho is the 12th man in this team, bro. Listen. He not when. No, no. If, if, listen, if, if, he's if, not going to do that. If he finds ways, we would have won the league. He would have won it last year. We would have won it last year. I don't rate Mourinho for last season. I'm just saying. I don't rate. Two years without a trophy, man, and the people are still on the bandwagon. I don't rate Mourinho. Yeah. At Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea. Two years without a trophy. Last. Um. Yeah. Three 0 yeah, I mean, it's bread and butter stuff, really. Yeah, it was. It was. It was nice to that see. That I can't believe it's it because I, I went into that game very confident, and then they just showed in the first ten minutes why I was confident. Oscar was amazing throughout that game. Like, I, was, I genuinely don't believe Chelsea win the league this year. I'm gonna put my hand down. It's Chelsea's. Oh, it's Chelsea's. Chelsea Costa's having goals. It's too early. It's too early. No, 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 Oscar. No, no, Oscar. You are winning the league. You're winning the league. But it's a bit too early. I'm the first one to say they won't win the league. I don't know who's gonna win the league. I'm just saying. I don't see Man City doing it. Man United. You don't see City doing it. The squad of City's is better than Chelsea in terms of squad. When Yaya Toure is gone, it's a wrap. Yeah, that's the that, that combination. They, 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 they got, they got, got, they 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 they are miles away. They're in not there. That's the bro. thing. Against the elite, Europe. they're miles but wait, away. How it's can the Premier League ballgame? champions be miles away in Europe? In the, that's the good. That's, that's why I asked the question yesterday: was whether do you think English football has gone down that much? I, I know it's that. It's, yeah. I've just noticed that now. But yeah, both wearing Superman tops. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, I think English football has actually declined over the last couple of years. When it was a team where Chelsea, Liverpool, um, Arsenal, sorry, Chelsea, Liverpool, and United used to be in the semi-finals, finals. Like almost every other year in the Champions League. Now it's not been like that for quite some time. Not since 2011. Yeah, we live in the semi finals. Oh, well, Chelsea have Chelsea, that's the other teams have it. So what is that down to? I think, I don't know. I don't know. Some of these things, it's a catalogue. It's hard. It's not, it's not one. Other teams it, got better. Is it philosophy? Other teams got better. Philosophy. Germany really re- Germany. revamped Germany. their whole system yeah. and look how good they've become. Um, the Spanish teams have, are getting stronger. Yeah, um, do you think so? Yeah, Madrid is, is a lot stronger than it was five years ago. Very true. You know what I mean? Barcelona. Well, I don't think Barcelona are. Barcelona. Barcelona. Now, do you know? It's, do you know? It's, I th- I'll say aspects of these teams. I wouldn't say the teams themselves. Barcelona is weird. Barcelona's it's back four. So, has so, not yeah, because the back four went down, but the, the front four has gone up. But the back I mean? four of Barcelona. I mean, th- this is a team that hadn't conceded all season until yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday yeah. Yeah. their first game, the first game they conceded was yesterday. No, are you doing that? They have exceeded. They scored 17. They got 17 plus on aggregate in the league. 17 plus. Listen, 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 six games. Listen, I'll forever say this. La Liga is an easier league. Okay. La Liga is an easier league. You, you, you're you playing the PSG. I don't rate them that high. I ain't gonna lie. I don't rate PSG no, that I'm, high. I'm not saying you should. They beat Barcelona. They, they did. They did. They did, but... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not saying you should rate them. I'm just saying <laughs> there's something about PSG and Man City that I have on them that where I'm just I look at them both in Europe and I'm like, no, no, and, and that's what, and, and that's what <laughs> I'm, I'm going back to as part of their team. True, true. You, you, you've got Matthew and a makeshift centre back in Mascherano. Matthew's thirty. What would they Why do? Why did you a sign defender from Why Valencia? Why did you sign him? Ask Luis Enrique, bro. And then you've got Dani Alves, who is a right winger. Dani Alves does not defend. He doesn't defend, bro. Yeah? Um, from, from Busquets and onwards, they've, it's quality. Five-star generals. But honestly, you need, they, they're the ones I need to sign, be signing Hummels and Benatia and all these other guys and companies and things of that nature. Mm. It's not these the dead the, 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 l- Is, is Matthew from France? Matidi. No, Matthew. He's French. He's French as well. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Come on. I don't understand that signing. Do you see what I'm saying? So for me, if, 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 if I look at if I look at Real Madrid, I've never rated Ramos and Pepe. Never. Ramos is a good head over the ball. He's a decent defender. Pepe doesn't know how to defend. He's like, come on. Well. That's the thing, like, uh, football in general, Man, look, a lot of things much have easier. happened. You look at, who won it last year? The Sp- a Spanish team. The year before that was a German team. The year before that was, was it the, was it Chelsea the year before? Chelsea. Yeah, yeah Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, was it? And then the year before that, it was another Spanish team. Nah, the year before that, it was an Italian team. Like, some stuff happened in Champions League, innit? And European football, look at the Italians this year. They're looking, well, you're looking at Roma, we're quite impressed with what Roma have done. And they've been away for some time. They've been away for quite a while. So, it, I don't know. I don't know what's happened to English football, to be honest. In terms of in Europe, its performances in Europe. I don't know what's happened. I, I think we can clearly see that English defences have got worse. Trust. When you look at Man United, you look at Chelsea, you look at... Even Arsenal, yeah. Arsenal yeah, I mean... By a long shot, yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. We, we can't defend, can we? I don't know. I think, so, now, I think now the other teams are not imposing their game on us. Before it was the other way but around. But I also say this. Yeah, I, that's I, true. I, I that's think I, I, I also think it's it's the it's the quality of manager, as well. Like like when when you guys because you're saying even Chelsea's defense, you guys have switched managers for the past three seasons. You see what I'm saying? If you had Mourinho in the year that Benitez was there or or, or Di Matteo was there, it's a different defensive mind in the back four. It's a much like uh, the fact that David Luiz was, was a centre back for you guys for four years is an outrage. <laughs> he why was he there? Yeah. I think you're too harsh on Louise, I swear. Louise is poor. I think you're too harsh Louise is poor. No, 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 no. He's a poor defender. I think you just have a personal hatred with him. David Louise was the man of the match last night against Barcelona. He's a poor defender. I don't think he's that bad. He's a poor defender. I don't think he's that bad. He's a poor defender. Hey, David Louise. And miss. He is spectrums. We and Oscar were watching it yesterday. And David Louise is up front. And you know the commentator said, oh, he's he's... He's too far from his defensive line. He's Why are you up there? <laughs> I mean, uh, he's poor. David Luiz is poor. Nah, it's too strong. David Luiz is poor. What, was he not great yesterday? It's too strong. It's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's too strong. Is Tell poor. me he wasn't great yesterday. Uh, listen, I'm going to say something that might really annoy an Arsenal fan right here, but I would have him ahead of Mertesacker. Hey, with Kashani. Yeah. With Kashani. Hey. Bam. With Kashani. No, 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 hold on, hold on. With Kashani. No, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. With the way our, our feedback goes, listen. Bam. I mean, you know, nah, you're crazy. You're crazy. Louise. Shall I tell you why? 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 He's more agile, yeah? He's somebody who's got a bit of pace on him. When you have people like Mertesacker that can't run, that's a... Bro, that's a liability. Now, nah, you, you would take no. David Luiz instead of Arteta. No. <laughs> 50 million. No, forget the No, forget the bride. Arteta, you are crazy. No, I'm saying, if you ask... Profit, baby, profit. If you look at it like this, if you look at our back four, oh and you've got Debussy on one end, you've got Giggs on one end, and you've got Koscielny, who do you partner? Mertesacker, or would you put... Would you put David Luiz? I personally would have David Luiz. No, he's no, more agile. No, but you're taking the lesser of two evils. They he, are. No, but he is. It definitely is. Oh, not as bad as Mertesacker. So, what he, it, well, so you would kind of agree with what he's saying? Not as bad as Mertesacker. Oh, if you, said, if you said to me that you would have Mertesacker at Man United ahead of David Luiz, that's crazy. Up, but I'm crazy. Oscar, but I'm lying, at Chelsea, <laughs> would you have Mertesacker ahead of David Luiz? No, that's because I've, I've seen David Luiz play no, in the Chelsea compa- system. No, you're comparing so, like, two defenders. <laughs> one who can defend but is slow and another one who cannot defend but is agile. No, no, no. It's not that David Luiz can't defend. He is... Let's not go there. Let's not go too far and say he can't defend. The one game I saw David Luiz defend well was the Confederations Cup final against Spain. That is the only game he banged. A defender has mares. Don't get me wrong. David David Luiz has has had mares since 2009. He has, but bruv, he's a good defender. I can't believe He's just not the best. (laughs) I'm I'm sure it's coming out of you. I can't believe it. I think he gets too much, way too much stick. I think he gets way too much stick. Chelsea, you would have never said that about him. I would have said that. I would have said that I would have hey, had him over thing. I would have said that poor. because he, he, he's been a Chelsea player. Look, he's poor. You know what I mean? I would have, I would have, I would have had him. He's so poor. I definitely would have had him ahead of Mertesacker. 
Listen, you don't, don't understand how bad oh, Bata Saka no. can be. Oh, no, no. I'm not saying I don't understand how much Saka can he's be. He's not, he's not, listen, David Luiz would not cost us as many games as Mata Saka could. That's whole uh, hypothetical. When I watched Jose Mourinho... Have you seen Mourinho, the games Mata Saka's cost us and the games you, that Did you, did you see so David Luiz last year? No. Have you seen the games Luiz cost Chelsea last year? Yes. And have you seen the games Mata Saka cost Arsenal? Listen, listen. Exactly. Listen, listen. I'm exactly. Not, listen, I'm not... The thing is, now you've made it about Mata Saka and David Luiz. I'm not that's making it about that. It was always about that. That's what he said. That was always about that. No, no, that's what I'm saying. He or you're making it about myself. Yeah. I'm saying David Luiz as an individual is poor. I think you're over. Yeah, I think you're over, but I think he's you're saying he far. would take David Luiz over Murtasaka. That's what. That's what I'm so saying. He didn't say David Luiz is the best fellow in the world. That's like, what I'm he saying. Said over Murtasaka. No, do you know why? Because and it, you said lesser of two evils. Yeah. No, so that, do you that, agree that David Luiz? Because none of you would have Murtasaka in your team. Let's not lie. None of you would take Murtasaka in your team. Exactly. And look how poor your defense is. Oh, you take that's madness. Oh, <laughs> I'm not lying. They will take Paddy McNair over Murtasaka. Hey, Murtasaka. 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 Murtasaka.
On three occasions. Yeah. More than four on three occasions, but yeah. So when it came to the big teams, Mertesacker and Kashani crumbled. Got battered. That's the difference. <laughs> Oh, That's the difference. Anyways, we're, we're, <laughs> let's let's talk about the team of the year. Yeah, team, of the year you know. team of the week. It's a new thing we're going to add on oh, to the no. pod. Um, team of the week. We're talking about the best um, team performance this week weekend. Um, and we'll just also talk Premier about League weekend. yeah, just Premier League. And then we'll also talk about the best player of the weekend as well, Premier League only. Um, yeah. So we look at um, who, David. Who would you put as the best team? This weekend, who performed the best this, this weekend? How many are there to choose from? <laughs> really? I mean, it's not, it's not, there wasn't a lot of outstanding performances. Yeah. yeah I think we'll just, we'll, we'll I, it's one of them weeks where we're just like, okay, we'll have a 1 1. Yeah. I, I one, think one. I'll be a bit biased in saying this, but I think Chelsea were excellent. I was going to say Chelsea. I gonna say Chelsea. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I'm, I'm looking at the teams that have won. You look at Chelsea, Southampton. Southampton was, was a good. Was a good had a, had a good performance. What about West Brom? You know, scoring four. Oh, West Brom Burnley. were were, were very good. Against Burnley, were very good. Burnley, Burnley, pants, Burnley are pants, bro. Burnley haven't scored the goal. They haven't scored the goal. They beat Burnley at home. Chelsea. They did, but they scored four. Yeah, but they beat Burnley at home. And a clean sheet. And it's a team that's in their sort of caliber. Yeah, but if they drew with Burnley, we'd be looking at. No, they're not. West, West, Brom, Brom, West Brom are better than Burnley. West Brom are fighting relegation. Burnley are getting relegation. We fought relegation last season. No, no. West Brom will get banged a few times this year, bro. And we'll see. I mean, they've they got, they, they they have, they have they got two wins on the bounce now. So As long as you beat everyone else, the ones in the bottom, you can get banged as many times as you want. Bro. No, it's not. 40 points is... is, is if you're up West Brom, it's 40 points. So when they got 40 points and... and, and, and they, they go to Manchester United this weekend. Okay, West Brom. Um, yeah. No, no, so if they win the week after this. Well. You've got Everton this week. We've got Everton this week. Lovely. Go on, Everton. Yeah, no. Um. Everton will do something. Yeah, you know, you just hope. Um, but yeah, um, uh, Chelsea. team of the week. Are we going to go with Chelsea? Pretty much. I was going to say oh, West Brom. Are you going to say West Brom? Oh, West Brom. Cheers, man. Cheers. Okay, Cheers. voting for West Brom. <laughs> West Brom. West Brom. West Brom. West Brom. All right, West Brom. It is West Brom. Get team of the week. Bit of hatred there. West Brom. Get team of the week. After when, when we brought up West Brom, what, 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 what yeah. Yeah. everyone's like, oh, they beat a team that's around them, and now they did a nah. Yeah, they beat a team that's around them, and I think that's a massive. Oh, that's a massive. Yeah, massive victory. Massive victory. It's a big if, it, if it's a team that's around you and you win 4-0, that's a massive victory. I don't know. I think West Burnley at home. Nah, you can't say that. I, 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 I think, think Burnley haven't scored in, in how many games? But West Since Brom, you, West Brom had scored how many goals? How many goals did West Brom score before? Today? West Brom won their last game. Yeah, 1-0, first game of the season. They won it. Yeah, first game of the season. I mean, I expect West Brom to beat Burnley at home. Do you expect them to beat, to beat Tottenham? Away? Huh? West Brom. Do you expect them to beat Tottenham away? Do you expect West Brom to beat Tottenham away? Yeah. No. Exactly. They, 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 that's, they, they, that's not the second game now. They've won four. That's not the performance we're talking about. No, I'm saying. And I think Chelsea played better than. I understand that. No one else has done I that. I understand that. What was the score when you were Chelsea were perfect at Aston Villa. Were they? I think so. No floor? <laughs> Tell me the floors. <laughs> no, I'm asking. No floor. I don't, think, I, I don't think you would even play that. We played that way against any team in the Premier League. We'll win the game, I guarantee you. We were that good. Oh, we'll find out this Sunday. We'll find out. Honestly, we'll 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 I think Sunday. you'll get banged on Sunday. Anyway, player of the week. <laughs> player of the week. Who was the most outstanding football player you felt this week, um, weekend in the Premier League? Who scored that cop gave, gave it to Dorans? Who? Wow. Dorans of West Brom, yeah? Mm. Interesting week. Interesting week. But who, who do we vote for? Big up who scored.com, man. Jekko. Raphael. Raphael, 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 you do, you would, wouldn't you? No, nah, he was excellent. <laughs> Oscar? I didn't watch that. Barely no. Excellent. Barely Sorry, no. you guys didn't even watch the Chelsea mm. game. And you, uh, I, I saw watched. highlights. Uh, you know, I, 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 I saw the I highlights. I didn't concentrate on the day I streamed to watch Chelsea, you know I've lost it. I'm bored. All right. <laughs> nah, you, they were three o'clock. You'll be watching, you'll be watching Chelsea this weekend, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, unfortunately, I won't be. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> are what there, time is kickoff? I like both. Are there any I short play- I don't, I don't want to pretend like I watched West Brom. Yeah. So I don't want to say a player I didn't watch. So Berahino scored twice, didn't he? Yeah. He scored twice, yeah. Mm. Yeah, he did, yeah. But one of his goals was like tapping, but still, they all count. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to do player of the week. 
But it was quite no, difficult. No, because normally you have that one stand out. Yeah, Normally one player is excellent, but I think there was a lot of the two draws in the derbies didn't help. I think if one one player came out and yeah. won the derby, you would have... Yeah. yeah, so I don't know. It's difficult. <laughs> oh, it's tight, Should we just go Rooney? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Should give it to Rudy. Most eventful player we get. <laughs> I mean, Costa's still scoring. I mean, uh, I, I could easily give it to him just based on that. Just I felt like what Costa does. He's doing what he no, not what he's, no, it's, he's it's, it's, well. of, it's of the week though. If we, if we all go back on 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 past true games, uh, it's, it's true. Just, uh, Any outstanding player that you guys saw this weekend? Rafael, Rafael. Rafael. I said Rafael. Oscar. Honestly, since that, what are you saying, Oscar or Rafael David? Raphael, okay, we'll go Raphael. Raphael got player of the week. I don't know how. Absolutely, he's got player of the week. All right, so I didn't watch, <laughs> that's an absolute I didn't watch Oscar, but... Did you? No, Oscar was amazing. Yeah, but you didn't bring up the case. Like you just sort of vaguely brought him up. And I that's why he, I... He, he, no, when we spoke about the Chelsea game, I told you Oscar was amazing. When we spoke about Man United, no one mentioned Raphael. There was nothing about Raphael because they asked questions about Rooney. And no, we're talking about the game. We spoke about we talked about West Ham. We had ten men. Come on, bro. West Brom and Raphael yes, winning the two awards this week. Who would have crazy. ever thought that's that? That's proportional. Right? That's why this is top four. This is top notch. Um, we're going to do next week's predictions. All right. Um, it's kind of a dead week. No, it's not actually. It's not bad. Um, first home game. First game. Well, first game that's written up here is um, Sunderland at home to Stoke. David, prediction? Sunderland can't buy a win, but they can't win. Sunderland have they won a game yet? They haven't won a game yet. I don't <laughs> think they have. They can't even buy a win, bro. They lost to QPR, didn't they, a couple of weeks back? So. Ah, yeah. yeah. Stoke. Stoke. Peter Crouch. Peter Crouch, Peter Crouch again. Robin. Sunderland home win. Sunderland home win. Oscar. Uh, Stoke. Stoke. Crouch. Ernest. Draw. Draw. I'll go for Sunderland win. They'll get their first win. At home. Leicester City at home to Burnley. These are the games that count. By the way, speaking of which, Leicester did lose last weekend, right? Um, They were away to... Crystal Palace, yeah, they got banged. Palace and lost, even after winning that 5-3. And that's the thing. Like That's what I'm saying. Like Leicester have to beat the teams that they're... That's where the pressure comes, is when they have to beat the teams that are around them. They got banged. That's why I wasn't so sure that, you know, they're definitely going to make... Stay in the Premier League because, bro, you can't go to Palace and lose if you, if you want to stay in the Premier can't League. Do that. Can't. You can't. So, uh, Leicester City at home to Burnley. Leicester. I think Leicester, Leicester will be back and win. I think Burnley will get a goal. Oh, yeah. Burnley Robin? Have Burnley have to get a goal. Bro. Burnley have to get a goal and they will be fighing to get that goal. I can't way. believe you made, me to, you made me predict Burnley to beat West Brom. I, I felt like hitting you. When I, when I saw the <laughs> squad, I was like, what was I thinking? Why did he make you predict it? Because he had brought up some good points that were, uh, for Burnley and just the way West Brom had been. So I thought, you know what? Yeah. Like Danny Ings. Uh, you, you said, did you say uh, I'm saying Robin? Burnley. You're saying Burnley again? I'm oh, saying wow. Burnley. Oscar? You can't call him a marker. <laughs> Oscar? Um, Leicester at home to Burnley? Goal, bro. I think Leicester will do it. 3 1. Ernest? Who's your? Mm. Sure. You know, this is going on iTunes, fam. You're going to, everyone's going to be like, what are you thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> millions well, you of people. Never know. Like I said, um, I think I think Leicester will score two and Burnley will finally get a goal. Yeah. You have to remember the yeah, same thing happens. I'll go with a Leicester home win as well. When I said about West Brom, when um, Hull West City at home to Crystal Palace. Look at this guy. Right. Hull, Hull City at home to Crystal Palace. Aye. Aye. Oh, Aye. It's a good game. <laughs> it's a that's that's, that's tough, quite tough a nice game. game. Um, Robin. Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, away win. Oscar? I would like to see Palace win because I like Palace, but I just think Hull, Hull have got a good side as well with Abel and that. So I'm going to go on the fence and say a draw. Draw? Yeah. And it's 2 Hull 2 0. I'll go for a Hull home win. Ooh. Uh, I don't know because Palace is still undefeated, but under you know, Warnock. Nice I'll go for a draw. You keep having to add under New Warnock. <laughs> yeah, because they've lost the game. Do you know what I mean? They have lost the game this season, but when Warnock yeah. came. Beat them. They, beating, you're done now, but um, yeah, I'll go with a draw. Um, Swansea at home to Newcastle. Oh, no, Swansea. Swansea at home to Newcastle. Swansea, Swansea. Hard Jews under pressure, Kaz. Swansea. I want, Instant I want Swansea. to find a way out for Newcastle, but I just can't see it. I think it's Swansea two, three now maybe. Swansea on No bony though. Don't, let's not forget. I don't no, think. Bony, no. I think he's Newcastle, injured. I think he's still yeah. suspended. Sorry. Gomis. Maybe actually. Newcastle. No, she got two yellows. Who knows? Ernest, Swansea at home to Newcastle. Dyer hat trick. Wee. I'm going to go with uh, Newcastle win. The algorithms of the the Premier League. (laughs) I think Newcastle will pick up the pace for some reason. 
Um, Liverpool at home to West Ham. West Brom. Sorry, West, West Brom. Brom. I was going to say, what? West Ham? That's West Brom. Right. Sorry, guys. Liverpool at home uh, to West Brom. Uh, Liverpool. Liverpool home win? Because Robin? the algorithms, West Brom. West Brom away win? Mm. Oscar? I just think Liverpool cannot afford to not win. <laughs> 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 they can't afford <laughs> like to not win. It's gone too far. It's, yeah, it's, for a team that finished second last year, it's gone too far. Liverpool have to kick on and win this game. Relative. But I, I think a lot of it will hinge on how they play tonight against... Basel. Basel away. Oh, gosh, they got, they're got travelling back from Basel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I'll back them. It, it, yeah, it's just the travel. It's the fact that, yeah, it's just, just what, you know, like, imagine we all say we're going Switzerland now and tell me tomorrow we have to train and then play a game on, you know what I mean? Well, there's no rest day. Don't get no rest day. What rest do you get? They, like, they, really? I think they do. I think what day is that? You though? play on Saturday. If you play, on, if you played on Wednesday, yeah, tonight is, is the, is the oh, game. They're in Switzerland now. When do they fly well. back? Should we say tonight or tomorrow? They fly back tonight. Chelsea they fly, fly back tonight. So imagine that They're tonight tomorrow. now, you don't get home till about maybe three, four a.m. Yeah, because from the airport you still got to get to your house. You go to bed at five a.m. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Yeah, and then what? You rest maybe. Maybe you get that day off, but that's already Thursday. Friday. Friday. Friday that's already Thursday. Then Friday. What do you do on Friday? Friday, yes, bro. You're have you have you but have you readjusted? Exactly. Then Saturday, three o'clock, you're playing a ninety minute game. Welcome to Champions League football, Liverpool. Um, who are we at? They know what it's about. They Ernest. Liverpool. West Brom two one. Oscar, what did you actually say? Because you just said they couldn't afford. You didn't give me a prediction. Um, yeah, I think Liverpool will win it three one. Ernest said away win for West Brom. I'm going with an away win for West Brom. No, I'm going for a draw. You think they're going I'm going for a draw. Win? I'm going to think, I think they're going to draw at Anfield. Wow. I don't know. Very Hino versus Liverpool. Soccer. Liverpool just don't seem to be clicking. Soccer, you know. Liverpool just don't seem to be clicking for me. Um, Aston Villa, it's the evening kickoff. Aston Villa at home to Man City. It should be a cracker. Man City. Yeah, for, yeah, man, this is always a good game. It's always been a good game, them too. They have a good game against the Villa are a boring side. I nah, when, when they play against Aston the big Villa. teams, they're good. No, against the big teams, they're all right. It's all right to watch. It's all right to watch. Against Arsenal, they're poor. They play against Clever Lee. Clever Lee with assists. Except even your games, it's always high scoring, though. Even your games. Aston Villa, last year we beat them 3-0 away, and they came to Old Trafford. What happened? What happened last year? Did we draw? No, it was 4-1. They scored first in that yeah, free yeah, kick, yeah. and then Mata, Mata and Rooney yeah, I, and I Kagawa think, had a, a, a crack. I've, w- I've watched three full Aston Villa games this season, and I've, they've been very boring. So, Robin, what did you say? I'm going for a cheeky 1 0 win with Aston Villa. Oscar? Clean sheet? Against who? Sorry? Aston Villa Seven, against Man City. City 3 0. City 3 0. City 3 0. Let's remember who's up front. <laughs> Come on, man. Where are Zeko? 3 2 City. 3 2 City. I think City win about 3 1. Um, Manchester. 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 Let's uh, go on to Sunday. Um, early kickoff. Uh, Manchester United at home to Everton. David. Uh, United. Everton. United. United. Um, Robin. Two 0 United. Two 0 United. Neil. <laughs> Two 0 United. The faith. If we I mean, have a clean sheet, I, I will like... shake your hand. <laughs> I mean, you didn't keep a clean sheet against West Ham. What are the chances? No, no, I said two Everton? one. I said two one last week. I know, but as in, I'm saying but you, you didn't keep a clean sheet last the week. So I'm wondering why. The algorithms why of the fleet. <laughs> okay. Do you know what? Yeah. The gods. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> <laughs> the small G gods. The thing is, I don't know what Everton's going to turn up. Yeah. You just it's, don't know. Yeah. Well, you have Ever- to love the Europa League. <laughs> Everton could come out and play like they played against Arsenal. And just smash it, oh, or they could come out. For Everton this week, they're probably yeah, away as well. Say, yeah, they're well. going, they're going to Russia, <laughs> and then an early kickoff on it. Sunday. <laughs> and they just, they, do, they, they just lost to Palace, and then and they've basically, lost. basically lost to Liverpool. And they've lost. To, <laughs> Why? They, and they've because lost. Because they're awful. They should have lost, but they didn't. They've yeah. lost Morales. Um, I mean, bro, I'm yeah. Oscar, yeah. Everton United. Uh, uh, United three one. United three one. Ernest three two. Three two to Manchester United. Yeah. 
If United don't, don't win don't, that though, don't that's don't a big deal, up. I think. No, do you know what? I genuinely think Everton are gonna turn up at Old Trafford. It's a big game. Oh, I think United, no, I think no, Everton, United I think have to win. They're, they're a bogey team. I think Everton, Everton, Everton have been a bogey team. I think Everton will turn up because it's so, Old Trafford. It's like we're playing Man United. The reason that, that really put me off a bit was it's that the I, the mindset that Martinez went to Anfield with. He went there and said, "Okay, we're gonna sit back. We're not gonna go and try and win this game." And I feel like if he's doing at Anfield, he's gonna do that. You know. I don't know because I feel like going to going to Anfield is a tougher challenge than going to Old Trafford no, no, this no, season. No, but, but he he would have got more out of a win at Anfield. To to win at Anfield for an Everton for an Everton manager is a big deal. It's a derby, a huge deal to win at Anfield. That would have been huge. It would have been huge, but and he, he didn't even try. It seemed. Uh, so, it's hard. It's hard, it's hard to say because I don't think you see with United, yeah, they can they can let Everton play. I don't think Liverpool can. Liverpool, they suck you at Anfield. Do you know what I mean? I feel like Liverpool will always have the possession. Whereas at United, you can play. Both teams can play football. Well, let's hope. And I'll hope for a Lukaku hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think you know. I'm gonna go, I, I don't he's, know. He's one of the players I am not scared of. I'm, gonna I'm not sure of Lukaku. I'm going to go with a draw. Look, against because, Rojo and McNair. I look, think he's no, no, doing no, right. No, do, you know, do you know this? With Lukaku, as long as he doesn't run, sorry, as long as he runs, you've, you've, you've taken the life out of him. Every, listen, when Lukaku runs, he lo- look at the Arsenal game. Did you see him in the second half? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He loses Steve Quick. And last season, we had him on, you know, a pad lock. Uh, you can't Locky. pay £28 million pounds for a player who loses Steve. Why did you pay £20 20- <laughs> oh, Listen, people are arguing with me. Why did you pay £28 million for Lukaku? Why? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm going to go for a draw. I just don't know what's going to happen. It could go either way. Oh, we, 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 like we can't it. afford it. We've um, only, we've only got Chelsea at home to Arsenal in the 2 05 kickoff. Uh, David, uh, will we oh, make oh, a much mate. better improvement to last year? Hey, 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 hey. hey. No? I'm looking for Arsenal defenders. Where they at? No. Where they at? <laughs> Where they at? No. <laughs> hey, fam, I don't, I don't even know, bro. Hey, do I have to make a prediction? You got it, bro. Hey. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Jesus. You know me. Let me jinx Chelsea, bro. Chelsea win, bro. Okay. Chelsea win. Against <laughs> his own team. Um, Robin? 4 2 Chelsea. 4 2 to Chelsea. That 2 is not nice. You don't think 3 0. 3 0. 3 0. Courtois is a liability. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, uh, he is a liability. What are you talking team? about? Oscar, I'm Chelsea are not great. Listen, listen, Oscar, listen. Oscar. I'm not even going to say, I'm not going to agree with him. I'm just saying, you've had two clean sheets this season. <laughs> no, season, I'm not. Ju- yeah, but That's but, not a Mourinho. That's no, not Mourinho's No, but hear me out. Yeah, no, no, I agree. That's not, I, that's I, I 100% agree. <laughs> Our defence has not been... <laughs> Great, no, but, but when you say Ch- Courtois is a liability, what has yeah, 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 Courtois made yeah, any mistake? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I agree with Oscar. Courtois is not the liability. I, I don't know. You're back for our back four is not as good as it can be. Get that goal in? But when it comes to big games, they they'll they'll do the do. Hey, <laughs> yeah, oh, I swear that. What are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? I just finished my point. Three nil. Okay. Okay, fine, three nil. All right, boom. <laughs> I thought you were too much. I thought you were too You just stopped <laughs> listening, didn't you? <laughs> I was checking something. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, fine, fair enough. Ernest? I'm looking for Arsenal's three points. Where they at, though? Where they at, though? Where they at, though? I agree, Oscar. Three nil. Man, I'm just skanking. Three nil. I'll say three nil, bro. I don't think Welbeck will turn up. I don't think. Damn. <laughs> uh, do you know what? If anyone's going to score against us, I think it'll be Alexis Sanchez. Yes, he's, just he's the only one I think will score against. Dangerous. It can... I think Arsenal win one nil. Right. You think Chelsea won't score? Bruh. I think Arsenal win one nil. This That's banner. I'm praying for what? Fine. I can't. No, <laughs> winning Arsenal winning the game. That's to me. That's not shocking because Arsenal are a very good side. But to to not Chelsea to not score. He's that's just. That's just. <laughs> No, you know, if you win one day, I'll look for you. <laughs> Phone me. I will look for you. Ah, uh, Arsenal fans will be so good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to hear none of it. Listen. No, they'll be good. So I remember when you not beat us 5-3 at the Stamford Bridge. I didn't hear the end of it for you. Oh, I still that, don't hear the end of it. It's 2014, I still don't hear the end of it. Anyway, yeah. Tottenham at home to Southampton. No, hold on. Could we just pause on Chelsea Arsenal for a bit? Why? Do you know what is? <laughs> I will laugh so hard. It's one fixture that I want 
us to win so badly. I hate Jose Mourinho. <laughs> I can't stand Chelsea football. Club. Love, love, love your enemies. As in, not personally hate him. I just hate his media presence and his stage no, presence. I, I, don't, I don't like can't stand what Mourinho, Mourinho did this week. When he tried to shake... The game, yeah, the, um, game, the game hadn't even finished and he walks up to Roy Keane and Lambert and tries to shake their hand. Roy Keane did not acknowledge the guy. Roy, Roy Keane didn't look at him. Lambert Roy, goes, Roy, game's Roy, not over. Listen, Roy Keane is a bearded genius. He's a G. Do you see his beard? Yeah, I see it. Lambert took his off though. He knew he had to. Mm. No, Lambert was because was, was of stress. Roy Keane <laughs> is because he's Roy Keane. He's Roy Keane. Yeah, no. I mean, I, if there's one game I want us to win, if you ask me, what's the number one game I want to win between Arsenal and United or Arsenal and Chelsea? I don't know. It's between them two. We have to be Arsenal. We have to. We have to beat. What's the number United. one game in the season? Home or home away? To win. What, it's Tottenham though, it's Tottenham. Tottenham. It is what, kind of Tottenham. Not Tottenham. What, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the number one game? <laughs> huh? so what's the number one game? What's the number one game you're going to win? I do, think, I do think your biggest game as an Arsenal fan is Tottenham. This is my opinion. I think it's Tottenham. I think it's Tottenham. I think it's Tottenham. I think it's the biggest game. It's bet- Who's challenging? It's between... Um, it's between so it's the biggest game. It's between a thingy. It's between... Um, What's it called? <laughs> it's between for me. It's between Stamford Bridge or Old Trafford. Nah. those are for me the biggest. No, this season it's here. not Old Trafford, bro. No, because we haven't won there for years. That's why I'm saying it. We haven't won there for years. Since what? Old six. Since I had a bile. Yeah, but the, it, it, the annoying thing about winning at Old Trafford is that sometimes it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. That's You'll win at Old Trafford. You just be yeah. like, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, we knew Arsenal should be better than. United this year anyway because United finished seventh. Yeah, so in, that, like, in, in that case, win, in that like, case, oh, we should have won anyway. This game on it's Sunday Chelsea is the ball. biggest game for me. It's just because our team's not even strong. It's not the full strength team. Walcott needs to come. I don't know why he's playing that, bro. Where is he, bro? Yeah, but anyway, that's that's the big that's a big game. He's, for he's me. getting more tattoos. Tottenham at home to Southampton, David. Southampton. Southampton away win. Southampton. But your team should not have left. Southampton. Yeah, Robin says Southampton. Oscar. Um, Tottenham two one. Tottenham. Ernest? Someone lied to you. Pele, Pele 2 0. Pele? Um, eh, 2 0. I'll go for Southampton. Man, away win as well. Tottenham, you know. Southampton away win as well. Midfield, you guys don't. Hey. <laughs> Mesa. They have got a midfield. midfield. They haven't got a defensive midfield. All right. Final, game of, the, final game of the weekend. Chance. Final game of the weekend is a West Ham at home to QPR. Oh, London cares, Derby. London Derby. West Ham at home to QPR. West Ham. Robin? Ham, yeah. Massive West Ham. West Ham. West Ham. Full house. West Ham it is. Big Sam. Yeah, it is the that big Sam. only full house. That's the only full house of the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So that has been all for top four this week. Uh, please do join us next week. Um, the international breaks are coming up soon. So I'm feeling we do a quiz. I don't know what you guys are saying. But Man's on the iTunes, Cass. We love quizzes. They're fun. That's <laughs> why. Fun. Why don't we do one today? Why don't we do a quiz today? You didn't today? bring stats? And we're on Spotify as well. Uh, Actually, I mean, I've got a few stats, but... Yeah. Did, did a stat. We're not on Spotify. We just, I, got, I have to do a stat of the day. We'll, stat we'll compare the, the stats. Stat oh! Stat, stat. Tony Hibbert played for in the Merseyside derby. Who remembers the last time Tony Hibbert even played a game? I haven't got an answer for this. I'm just saying it's hilarious. Um, Tony Hibbert. I don't know. Tony Hibbert played last season. Hibbert is yeah. old, you know. Yeah, he's old, but he's always been like, on the bench. an OG. By the way, can we, can we look at some of the glorious fixtures that there are today? Oh, yeah? What, the Champions League? Champions League? Champions League? Champions League? Champions League? Champions League? Juventus. Mm-hmm. Home win. Leverkusen Benfica. Home That's win. A good game. Basel Liverpool. Home win. Ludogretz nil. Real Madrid 8. Ah, <laughs> oh, I want Ludogretz to win, man. No, I ain't gonna lie. And, and Hapid are two different things. I, ain't gonna lie. I, want, I want Ronaldo to score four goals. Arsenal and, and Arsenal Galatasaray. I think Dortmund. I think actually, I like Dortmund will be we a good game. We didn't even do goal of the week. Oh, we haven't done goal of the week. Goal of the week, haven't we? Oh, sorry, yeah, goal of the week. Because I, th- I think because we discussed it before, uh, I sort of <laughs> slipped my mind. The top four <laughs> goals of the week, right? We're looking at um, Edin Dzeko's fantastic finish against Hull, his first goal. Brilliant. Um, we're looking at. Uh, Pele, how do you pronounce his name? Pella. Pella, right? Pella of Southampton. Look at his scoring, <laughs> scoring his <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> was that an overhead scissor kick? Ah, oh, it was. It was a touch, a bit overhead. Yeah, a touch of overhead with scissor involved. Touch um, of brilliant everybody. goal for Southampton. Or Charlie Austin's one. Oh. Um, brilliant two, one touch, it's brilliant and take, volley there. It's brilliant brilliant take. take. And the other one we were arguing was remind me again. What was the other one? Fourth one. What? Just, just gonna, hey, what's, what was the fourth one? Z- 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 I've named three. 
thought you said Jackie Elka. Sorry, yeah, Phil Jackie Elka. Phil Jackie Elka. Phil 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 Burnout against Liverpool. Man, told me you like to leave it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you know. My favorite goal of the weekend was Charlie Austin's. I'm not gonna lie. There's something about yeah, that goal yeah, no, I, that I thought that is such a hard goal to score. Like it's hard. I do agree. Ja- Jackie Elka's one was like hit and miss. If he hits, he, he's gonna bang it Trust. top corner. If it goes in, brilliant. If it doesn't, oh well. He told me you like to leave me. <laughs> I mean, the skill, yeah. the skill of that Charlie Austin goal is so hard to do. Like, it's always a good day when someone scores against Liverpool. It's a very oh good day. God. No, no, no. no. You hate, this is hatred. You hate Liverpool. You hate Liverpool. <laughs> there was no need to the say Louise, that. Louise and Liverpool, Liverpool are two th- things that you hate. No, if I met David Luiz today, I'd shake his hand and say, well done for going to PSG. He's a cool dude. I'm not he's saying he's not. I don't, he's listen, I don't hate this. Listen, 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 listen. Loving it when someone loses a game is not hate. No, that is, though. It's not hate. To me, that is. I feel like you hate you because there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no team. <laughs> it's, it's not other hate. than Man United, there's no team I delight in them losing. There is no other team. But Chelsea you, you really United want Liverpool to lose. No, I want Chelsea Liverpool to lose based on la- based on last season's antics by their fans. I don't hate Liverpool. Huh? All right, can we vote for the goal of the week, please? Uh, I'm gonna go with Charlie Austin. What do you think? Uh, that would be no, Jeff Yoko. Jeff Yoko. Jeff Yoko. Jeff Yoko. Oscar. Um. Austin. Charlie Austin. No. Ed and Jekyll. Ed and Jekyll. So now we have a tie break. No, we don't. Oh, we do. We, oh, we, oh, we do. We do, cuz. Yeah, we do, cuz. Okay, so now we can only choose from... No, I just pick which one's better out of the two goals. Because he picked yeah, the other true. one. Yeah, true. And which one was better out of Jackie O'Hare and... and uh, Pe- who? Uh, Charlie Austin. Austin. Charlie Austin. Oh, I'm Jackie O'Hare. Yeah! yeah! Manto <laughs> Minule to leave! Yeah! <laughs> I guess it's a shame. I guess Jackie O'Hare take it. I'll leave you with this one stat. Pompey in League 2 are now debt-free. Brilliant. Hey, Pompey! Join us here. (laughs) Join us next week. See ya. Yeah! Live on iTunes.